Hello, what's up people? How we doing? Hope y'all are having yourselves a good Wednesday. Oh, my hair is not cooperating in this hat. You'll love to see it. It's a little better, I guess. What's up? How we doing today? We are back for some more shiny hunting. Um, not doing the Sprigatito solo run, not playing Crash because uh, mainly I'm going to be away this weekend. Like I mentioned to you guys, I'm going to be in Chicago. So because of that, I figured might as well do the weekend stream since this is what people usually come to my channel for anyway. Figured might as well. So we are going to be doing a little bit of shiny hunting during the week instead of on the weekends. And sorry, I was checking my audio. I think we're good. Um, come here. Hello. I think that's the quickest you've ever shown up. I think that's the fastest you've ever shown up. Is that a new record? Is that a new record? A new record! How are ya? Yes, I, I see you. I see you. Hello. You are seen. You are heard. You are valid. And here come your thigh pets. There you go. There you go. Is That's a good girl. You jump on this desk. You know. Ah, 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 ah. Nice try, kiddo. Nice try. You're not allowed on the desk and you know that. Yo, what's up, Todile? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having yourself a good Wednesday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So anyway, yeah, like I was saying, I figured might as well do this little bit of shiny hunting now since I'm going to be away this weekend. We'll still have some videos going up throughout the week, so you guys uh, will be able to see that bit of content, but no live streams for the rest of the week after today. So I figured might as well jump in, do a little shiny hunting in Scarlet and Violet, and see how we do. So as a result, here we are. And we are going to be starting off today with a little bit of a shroomish hunt. We actually have a pretty good uh, variety of outbreaks. Like, we got shroomish, fan pee, hop up, who cares? Dano, or dino. Uh, what else did we have? Chansey, but I have one. Noivern, but I have one. Obama Snow, Dratini. Uh, Kitakami had some good ones, too. Uh, where'd they go? Yeah, uh, who cares about Greedon? But Lampent, uh, Shinx, Gligar, and then here we got a Lolan Graveler, which is uh, pretty fun. Minior, I'm not doing that. And there was one more Blitzel. So uh, Blueberry Terrarium is a little bit of a letdown outside of the Alolan Graveler, but some pretty good stuff from Paldea and Kitakami to go for. Like, we'll definitely be doing the Graveler, we'll definitely do the Shroomish. So, yeah. That should be the play. I'm just going to check to make sure I have the ingredients I need for the sandwich I have to make here. Um, Do I have... I don't have enough lettuce. I'm going to have to go buy lettuce real quick. That's an L. So I dug a bit. I don't know how that felt. Looking at you sideways. Party on tilt. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Let's fly off to Mesa Goza. Let's go stock up on some resources. And then we should be good to start this shroomish hunt. Get a big old mushroom guy. Big old mushroom guy. The best kind of mushroom guy, one might say. Okay. I think the produce stores are over here. Now, if I could just remember who sold what. Fresh produce. All right. Do you have lettuce? Does lettuce not count as produce in your world? <laughs> Does lettuce not count as produce? I figured it would, but I guess game said no. What about here? Do you have lettuce? Bro, well, who the hell sells lettuce in this place? Anything else we can tempt you with? A head of lettuce, please. That's what you can tempt me with. Um, sure cans, delicioso. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Wait, have I never figured that out before? Delicioso, I get it. I'm actually a little embarrassed I've never figured that out before. I'm not going to lie. Lettuce. All right, yeah, give me not 997 of them, please. Uh, I will take 50. Why not? Sure. Why not? I think everything else we should be good with. I mean, we probably should buy some more picks while we're here, because I only have, like, six left, I want to say. Um... Hmm. I mean, I have more money than I know what to do with in this game. So, let's do the Sunrise Flower. Oh, my God. 999000 for some picks? On second thought, I take it back. We'll, we'll get, like... We'll get, like, 150. That should be enough. That should be more than enough. 
I was like, I'm gonna be a big spender on some sandwich pigs. Just a little bit of a status symbol, you know? If you know, you know. And then I immediately chickened out when I saw how expensive they were. Alright, we're gonna go into that shroomish outbreak. Let's do the darn thing, shall we? I don't think I've ever gotten, like, an actual shiny shroomish. I'm pretty sure I've gotten, like, um... Like, once traded to me that were, like, probably gotten through illegitimate means. But at the same time, I don't think I've ever found my own shiny shroomish. And it's one that I really like a lot. So I'm kind of surprised I've never gone on my way to hunt it before. It's a very solid, very solid shiny. Same with Breloom. Like, the reddish orange just works really well on them. I think I prefer their shiny color to their normal color, honestly. Which might be a bit of a slanderous statement to say, but I've already said it, so I can't retract it now. Soaring across the sky on my big old dragon. Aww. Okay, there's our shroomish area. Gorgeous. Alright, let's do it. Where are all the shroomish? They're literally all gone. Where did every single one of others one? <laughs> I was about to say, where did you guys go? You were just here. How did that happen so fast? What happened to the shroomish population within a span of two whole minutes? Also, there definitely was a guy in the wall right here. I saw him. I definitely saw him. I want to see if I can count this. Galate, over here, buddy. You can do it. Can I, can I get the guy in the wall or no? Maybe I can't reach him. I just want to make sure the guy in the wall wasn't a shiny. That's all. Because knowing my luck, that would happen. Pick up that Agua Berry while you're at it, buddy. Six. Seven. Welcome to Counting with Kai Guy, everyone's favorite part of the stream. Eight. What was that? Oh, it's a Meow. It's not what I'm looking for. You find a stream machine? Oh, there's the guy in the wall. We found him in the end. All right, nine. Ten. We're eventually able to get the guy out of the well. He came out of his shell. So proud of him for coming out of his shell. What a what a real one. What a real one. That takes heart, that takes courage. We stand you shroomish. We stand a mushroom boy. Um uh, where are the rest of them? Oh, there's just a random Persian right here. What's up, buddy? Anyway, see you later. Where are the rest of the shroomish, man? We're only on 14. I think once we get the grass sandwich, there should be a lot more. But even still, like, this is a very, very slow and small turnout. Like, we're only at 16 so far. Alright, now they're popping in. Okay, that's more like it. Please tell me there's not some up on this cliff. I really hope there's an up on this cliff. Okay, it seems like there's a majority of them that are spawning right here. I think that's 19, I want to say. 20. I'm pretty sure I've been keeping track, and that should be 21. I miscounted. Oh well. 22. 23. 24. Hey Patrick, know what's funnier than 24? 25. Maybe not, because I didn't get the message yet. Really? 25? Okay, we'll count we'll count that 25. So 26. 27, 28, so I'm pretty sure you get that little pop-up when you KO 25 encounters. I'm pretty sure that's the way that works. Unless I've just completely misinterpreted the purpose of that little pop-up that the game gives you. Which is a possibility, don't get me wrong. But I believe it does it after 25 encounters. 33... Go get that one. 34. Over halfway. Making good progress now. There's a little guy over here. 35. Leave me alone, Tropius. You're not who I'm here for. I got a shiny Tropius during my um uh my Pokemon Emerald Surskit solo run, surprisingly. I think we're on 36, I want to say. Just get rid of both of them. Why not? You're right here. Just take them both out. 37. Yeah, I ran into it just like I was at the route. 
right below the Weather Institute, and I ran right into just a random shiny Tropius. So I was like, well, I can't just not catch it. <laughs> I can't just not catch it. Like, I'm not going to do that. The shiny hunter in me refuses. Buddy, can you please get the one in the wall? I believe you can do it. Just run that way. Just run that way. I believe in you. There you go. You did it. I'm so proud of you. Like, that's number 39, I want to say. Maybe 40? We'll say that's 40. Alright, you can KO the big rough while you're at it. Sure, buddy. Go get that guy. Right here, delayed. There you go, bud. There you go. 41. 42. 43. 44. 45. 46. Almost done. 47. 48. 49. The big 5-0. 51. 51. Get these guys. Oh, now we're getting a little bit of a clumpage. That's what we like to see. 52. 53. I don't care that my premium trial is ended. Thank you, Avast. 54. <laughs> Just got randomly got a pop-up dead center on my screen, so I couldn't see anything anymore. Your premium trial is ended. Please come back to us. Like, no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. I appreciate the offer. Delayed. Delayed. Right there. 56. 57. Go that way, because I feel like there's another one on the wall. Keep going. I believe in you. Hey, there it was. 58, I believe. Can you get the guy right in front of you, bud? Thanks, pal. 59. 60. Now let's get our one for luck. Alrighty. Alright, let's just take a peek at the ones around here. See if we spot a shiny. Um, I do not see one. So I believe let's just go ahead and make a sandwich, shall we? Let's get the shiny shroom sandwich going. Forgot how to make picnics for a second. I was like, what do I click? <laughs> Dang. You know I've been playing BDSP too much when I forget what a picnic is in this game. Or how to select one. Alright, so we need three things of lettuce. We need a cucumber, a pickle. And then we gotta go... We'll go sweet and bitter. Why not? Let's do that. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? This is about to be the fattest lettuce sandwich you've ever seen in your life. Like, this is just going to be a straight-up lettuce sandwich. Watch this. Okay, that might be a bit too tall of a lettuce stack. I might have to redo this one. <laughs> we'll see if we can make it work. Um, oh, God, it's so precariously perched. Oh, speaking of precariously perched, that lettuce. Okay. Oh, my God. Don't fall, don't fall. No, no. I swear if I have to make this sandwich because of one cucumber... I'm going to be so livid. Everything else is on, but I guarantee you I have to make this sandwich again because of the stupid cucumber. I'm going to be so pissed. It's not even funny, man. It's not even funny, man. I'm going to be so mad. Please don't make me remake a sandwich over one cucumber falling off the plate, please. Surely this game's not that poorly designed. Surely it's not. Yo, what's up, Gifted? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Finally early? Yeah, we've only been here about 15 minutes, so you're nice and early. Welcome. How's it going? Okay, let's see. <laughs> because of one cucumber, man! Why? But why, though? But why, though? Come on, dude! Come on. All because of one cucumber, dude. That's actually so upsetting. That is such a dagger. Dude, that is so upsetting, man. I'm so sad. 
I'm sad, no, yeah. I'm sad, no, yeah. Yo, what's up, Daryl? <laughs> Every time, man. Every time. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? How's it going? I almost broke my shin today. What happened? How'd you almost break your shin? What the? What happened? Are you okay? What happened to you? I'm glad you're okay. But jeez, that's a that's a rough way to spend the day. Almost end up in the hospital. I'm glad you didn't break it. Like almost breaking it's better than breaking it, I suppose. It's still probably hurt, but at least it's not broken, broken. Okay. We're gonna try this again. My leg gave out during track practice and it felt funny. So, what do you think caused it then? Like, it literally just gave out on you, like, completely? Like, nothing, like, incited it at all? That's insane. Do you think you were, like, dehydrated and your muscles had, too, like, too much strain on them or something? Or what do you think happened? Alright, let's place these cucumbers better this time, Kai. Does that sound good? Yes, it does, me. Thank you for asking. You're welcome, me. Okay. Place it nice and carefully. Nice and carefully. Screw the bread, no one cares. I'm glad you're okay, dude. That is rough. When you say it felt funny, was it just like was it like a bad cramp then? Or like Do you think you like tweaked something in your in your muscles? I wonder what happened. That that's that's a rough one. I'm glad you're okay though. I'm glad you didn't break your shin. Okay, this should give me my encounter power for grass, right? That's what we like to see from you. Okay. We got our encounter power for grass types. Let's get our shiny shroomy. Here, shroomy, shroomy, shroomy. I just realized there's so many grass types around here. We're going to get so many Tropius and Deerling, man. We're going to get so many Tropius and Deerling, dude. Would the Funky Kong PP help you remember it's me, Shadow? I knew it was you. I was just laughing because you changed your name to Daryl Zacian and couldn't change it back. <laughs> nah, I knew who it was. Don't worry, I was there when you changed it. Trust me, I would not forget that that easily. I got a mind like a steel trap. Nothing gets in or out. For the best and for the worst. But no, dude, I knew it was you. You're chilling. Ugh. I think I was supposed to have D&D tonight, but I don't think anybody's showing up. So that's fun. So I said, screw it. I'm playing Pokemon. Bye. I have a 0% in my English class. How do you have a 0%? What happened? Are you just, like, not turning stuff in? Or... What's going on with that? Yo, what's up, Plushy Man? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How we doing today? Yeah, how do you have a zero? What happened? There's so many dearling. It's called forgetting you have a 60 point project. You got, do you have a planner? Like you gotta write that down. You gotta write that down. If you got a plan, you gotta, or if you don't have a plan, you gotta get one. And if you do have a plan, you gotta be writing that down. Like I, I was, dude. I'm not even gonna lie to you, Shadow. I had the exact same problem. I would forget about projects being due, so I had to get a planner. And it, it like, no joke, changed my life. No joke, changed my life. I was already a good student. I would just forget about stuff. But, like, just being able to keep track of things and stay organized, it no joke changed my, my academic life. I was on time for everything. I was, like, one of the, like, most um, well-prepared, organized students in the class. It helped a ton. Yo, what's up, Ace? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Wednesday. 
I love Breloom Shiny. Breloom is a phenomenal Shiny. I completely agree. Very, very good Shiny Pokemon. I love it as well. Could not agree more, honestly. I'm trying to check out all these Deerling, too, because maybe we'll get a random Shiny Deerling. That'd be funny. I'm going to McDonald's with my family. Hey, sounds good. What's everybody's go-to McDonald's order? What do y'all's go-to Mickey D's orders? Because if I'm going to Mickey D's, I'm getting like... It depends on what mood I'm in. I don't know. If I'm just like... If I just need to like... Uh, like crush something nasty real quick. I'll grab, I'll grab like two McChickens. And I'm chilling. But if I want like something good... I'll probably get um, like a, a, a decent chicken sandwich or some chicken nuggies with some fries and maybe uh, uh, like a Verner's or a Sprite or something. So, I, I'm not a huge like McDonald's guy, but I, I do like it from time to time. Their fries are top tier. I just got BDSP on Sunday, so I've been playing right now. I'm trying to evolve my script before Byron. Hey, nice. Good choice on Pokemon for the team. I like the, I like the Drapion pick. I like that drink. You're back already? It has been 10 minutes. You are so needy. I don't see you all day, and then I start streaming, and you're like, oh my gosh, I need you. Father, I need the love and attention. Like, dude. Are you a what? What? Huh? What? No, you just want me to pat your butt, and then you're gonna go eat? Okay. You just want me to pat your butt, and then you're gonna go eat. Sounds like a plan, fam. Yeah, I dig the I dig the Drapion choice. That's a good pick. Good pick for the team. I like it. It's fine to submit it today. Okay, that's good at least, but I would still recommend getting a planner. They are so helpful, it's not even funny, dude. Like, I promise you. They are so good. They're so helpful. You're almost at 400 subs. Yeah, we're pretty close. Like, what, five, six away? Let me refresh. Five away, yeah. Not too far off. Pretty close, pretty close. Big Mac? Big Macs are solid. I don't eat uh, burgers usually, but I can agree. Big Macs are very solid. When I did eat burgers, I would get a Big Mac and I would never complain. Big Mac sauce? Big Mac sauce is fire. Like, straight up fire. McCrispy? McCrispy's a good shout. I like me some McChicken sandwiches. I'm more of a chicken guy anyway, so like that's why I usually, that's what I get when I'm there. Large fry and a Sprite? Okay, okay. Skipping out on the entree, just going right for the fries. I respect it. I respect it. Mateys do have some top tier fries, so I get it. I get it. I get it. There was a... Um, I don't know if they still have it, but McDonald's had like this like... This like bear... This like tropical berry Sprite or something like that. That stuff hit. I love that. Anytime I went, I would absolutely get it. It was so good. Mom and Dad, coffee. <laughs> McDonald's does, does have good coffee, like, unironically. Especially, like, if you get it in the app, you can get it for a dollar. Like, I won't lie, there were so many times, like, when I first started teaching, there was I used to live right next to McDonald's when I had my first apartment. And I would I would drive to work, and, like, right as I'm leaving, I'd place a McDonald's order and pick it up at the drive-thru. And then I'd have my coffee and my hash brown, and I'd be set to go for the day. I lived like right next door to one for a while. But I'd get, I would get my large uh, vanilla iced coffee and I was chilling. Sister is a cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers aren't bad. Cheeseburgers aren't bad. Like I said, I'm not a big burger guy, but I respect it. McFlurry? Depends on the McFlurry. Like Mc, the McFlurry? I don't know. I'm not... Is it sacrilegious to say I'm not a big McFlurry guy? Is it sacrilegious to say that? I want to try, apparently there's like a secret menu item you can make called like the apple the apple pie McFlurry where they'll like blend one of their like apple pies into the, the ice cream and everything and that sounds good. I also really want to try the, um, it's like a Philippines exclusive or something like that. I think it's called, I think it's like an ube, ube and yam McFlurry or something. I want to try that so bad because I love ube and I love purple yam. It's so good. I would love to try that. It's kind of weird how Sinnoh got two re Switch remakes. I mean, I don't really count Legends Arceus as a remake. Um, I don't think Legends Arceus really counts as a remake for me personally. I think it's different enough 
to qualify as its own game. But BDSP, yeah, BDSP or Remix, for sure. But I would say Legends Arceus can kind of stand on its own as like its own standalone thing. That the gameplay is different enough. Um, so I would say it's their like their own separate entity. That's just me though. That's just me. McDonald's is hit or miss. Yeah, I kind of agree. It's, it's definitely more hit than miss, especially the fries. Like, the fries are usually always good. Unless you get them, like, cold or, like, when they're a little bit stale. But, like, 95% of the time, the fries slap. Like, again, I'm not a big fast food eater, but, like, whenever I'm, like, I, I, need, I need something nasty. Like, something, like, oily, greasy, salty. McDonald's is usually the place. Or Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake if I want good dessert, usually. This, their milkshakes are fuego. But McDonald's, fri McDonald's fries with a Steak and Shake shake is how to do it. That's that's the that's the Kai guy move right there. That's the Kai move right there. I'm grinding in the underground using an entire new team for the grind right now. It's Groupy, Graveler, and Pachirisu. Interesting team. Oh, wait! I almost just reset. I'm so glad I saw that guy. Shiny Streamish, let's freaking go, dude! Let's go! Shouty Shroomish! I'm so glad I saw that the last time because I was about to reset. Let's go! Hey, That's what we like to see. Alright, fella. What you got? What do you got, fella? Or, excuse me, lady fella. Uh, Shroomish Gen 9 Learn Set. What do you got, buddy? You're level 29, so you're going to have Growth, Giga Drain, Poison Powder, Headbutt. Nothing to hurt yourself is what we like to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and T-wave you. Oreo McFlurry good? Oreo McFlurry's not bad. It's solid. It's definitely solid. Oh yeah, and the Gastron? Gastron's goaded. I, I I dig the Gastron pick. I used the Gastron during my BDSP playthrough that I never finished. <laughs> Teehee! Let's go, baby! Shiny Shroomish on deck. Get your Pokeball recommendations in the chat. I mean, straight up, like, Pokeball just looks good, like, right? Like, straight up, Pokeball just looks fire, kind of, on this side. Yeah, I agree with Plushy, man. I think Pokeball looks, like, really good. Yeah, I I'm with you guys. I think Pokeball's the, pay the play. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else that stands out. It's Pokeball. Pokeball all day. And the crit capture, baby. Let's go. Shiny Shroomish on deck. That's what we like to see. That's a good way to start off the stream. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It prefers damp places. By the day, it, still, it remains still in the forest shade. It releases toxic powder from its head. Nice. Um, I'm going to name you... I'm going to name you Pollen. I'm going to name you Pollen. Oh, wait, Onion. Onion's a good shout. Wait, hold on. Hold on. For the culture. For the culture. I can respect that. Hold on. Oh, hey, Shroomish. I want to name you Onion. <laughs> I have to, man. I have to. For the culture. For the culture. I have to. Found my Hall of Fame team for my BDS playthrough. Oh, sick. What'd you use? Alright, we gotta figure out what our next shiny encounter is gonna be. Because we got a good amount of time in the sandwich still, I think. Yeah, we have 18 minutes. What's a grass type I can go and get with 18 minutes left on the clock? Uh, I'm gonna actually look that up real quick. Let's see. Let's look at the Paul Dea decks. I could try and get Sawaddle. Like in Kitakami. I have convinced myself I'm going to I'm going to Kitakami. I have convinced myself I'm going to Kitakami. Yeah, what was your team shadow? Yeah, I have to name it Onion. I gotta gotta go. Bye. Happy I saw the shiny. Hey, appreciate you stopping by, fam. Thank you. Well, what's up, Tokyo Ghost? How you doing? What's good to you too? How's your Wednesday going? Welcome to the stream. How we doing? 
Infernape, Staraptor, Luxray, Roseray, Gastron, Weavile. Very original. I mean, like, there's a reason that, Infer that like, Staraptor, Luxray, Roseray are on, like, 95% of people's teams. It's because they're all phenomenal Pokemon. And I know 95 is a bit of an exaggeration, but I think it's not by much. That is a very, very solid team. Very solid team. I can get behind that a lot. I think three of those were on my team as well, because I had Infernape. Uh, I had Infernape, um, Rose Raid, Gastrodon on mine. So. And then my other three were Haunchcrow. Um, it was Haunchcrow, Frostlass, and Bronzong were my other three. Is that a Shiny Sawaddle already? You're lying. Oh, it's a Poochiena. I was gonna say, man. I was gonna say. I was gonna say that'd be insane, dude. It was one hour of history for this Wednesday. Stuck, but I got through it. At least she got through it. That's what matters. That's what matters most, right? Able to get through it in one piece for the most part. Dude, there's so little. I wanna, I wanna pet Sawaddle, man. Like I know I keep saying I wanna pet Growlithe, but like I would just love to hold a Sawaddle. Like they're so adorable. Easily one of the, the most adorable bug types in the game. Oh, didn't even see that guy. My current team that I'm using is just for my favorites in the games. Yeah, that's usually what I do. Like, if it's like a new game, uh, I usually, I will only use Pokemon from that region. So, like, if I'm playing through, like, um, like, when I played through Scarlet and Violet, I didn't use any of, like, the old returning Pokemon. I only used the new mods and stuff. Same thing when I played, like, Black and White, X and Y, um, Sun and Moon, Short, Sword and Shield, all of them. So, like, I try to, like, rotate around and, like, pick out Pokemon that I like at the start. But if I'm, like, playing after, then I'll, I'll probably just pick my favorites. Like, if I'm doing, like, an extra playthrough or something, then I'll usually just pick Pokemon I like. Like, I like Team Synergy, and I, I usually go for that and Pokemon I like. Gonna be bad because I have to go through an hour of math tomorrow. See, I like math, so that wouldn't bother me. But I get, I get the, I get what you're saying. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too bad. Did Terra Raiden got a Basket Legion? Hey, not bad. Was it a shiny Basket Legion or just a regular one? Current team is Electivire, Metagross, Gengar, Rhyperior, Milotic Dragon. Just my favorite. That's a solid squad. I dig that. I like that. It's a good mess of uh, good mess of faves. I like those. The Metagross pick is goaded. Actually, I take that back. The Milotic pick is goaded, but so is the Metagross pick. I can get behind that. Yo, what's up, EPT? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Wednesday. What are you doing? I am shiny hunting a Sawaddle at the moment. Trying to find a shiny Sawaddle. Just trying to find a shiny little guy. Like everybody, if it was regular, but what? Oh, big regular, but it was a rush. I get that. Did you catch any Chinese yet? No. I caught a shiny. I caught a shiny shroomish a bit ago. Current team is Arceus, Shiny Cinderace, Serled, Shiny Charizard, Shiny Lunal, and Iron Crown. That's just like the team that you pull up to like flex, like straight up. Like just straight up flexing on the other teams. Like no big deal. Just got God on my team. What of it? You know how they, you know how they say I got the power of God and anime on my side? Well, I literally do. <laughs> I got God and Charizard. That's the power of God in anime right there. You're so cool. Thanks. Time to go look at my PLA save file. There you go. It's a good shout. See what you can unearth. See what was on the squad. I dig it. I can get behind that. 
I'm gonna try maybe doing more loops around this side of the bus loop, like going back and forth. See if that helps. Listening to Undertale themes, it was Spire Dance Remix, and it was so fire. That sounds fire. It's my favorite song in Undertale. Well, mm, favorite or second favorite? I think my favorite's Hopes and Dreams, but Spire Dance is probably number two. I really like Spider Dance, though. It's very good. Very good song. Do you have any tips for shiny hunting? Um, Like, what kind of tips are you looking for? What kind of tips are you looking for? Like, what specifically? Because, like, we could get into a full explanation, but that'd be a couple hours long. So I don't know if we want to sit here for a couple hours while we talk about shiny tips instead of doing the hunt. But, like, what kind of tips were you looking for? Like, uh, for getting started, or, or what were you thinking? You just sound inspired to do a theme that fills you with determination. <laughs> good song, good song. I dig it. That song slaps, dude. It's so good. I remember I traded most of my PLA Pokemon to Scarlet and Violet after I beat Scarlet and Violet. Makes sense. Might as well move them up, those who can and everything. Might as well move them up to the new game. It depends. Sometimes I'll trade them up, sometimes I'll just leave them where they're at. Depends on if I, I want to use them later or not. If it's something I feel like using later, I'll probably trade them up, but otherwise I'm usually like, yeah, you can just, like, my, my Sword and Shield team is still in Sword and Shield. Is it Chimeco that can spawn here? Wild. Did not know that. Kind of neat. I I'm 11 and I only have like two hours per day to hunt. Um, basically just sandwiches are your best friend. Like find a good sandwich guide, um, for like cheap ingredients and use those. It's usually what I do. Like I just get some herbs. Uh, pick out a Pokemon I want and kind of just go from there. Another tip, don't give up easily. Because, like, some people, whenever they don't get the shiny within, like, 20 minutes, they're like, alright, I'm switching to something else. This is clearly not working. But, like, sometimes it takes time. So don't just, like, just because something's taking a little bit longer, don't just give up on it. Like, that kind of thing. That's a quick little tip. I don't know. Basically, just do whatever. If you're enjoying it, like, go for it. Just give it your best shot. If you got charm, that's obviously a big help. Um, yeah. As long as you have, like, a guide to help you with, like, doing sandwiches and stuff, or if you just have, like, the DLC and you have that one, um, like, catch-all sandwich that, like, increases your shiny odds every time you buy it or something, um, you should be aight. Just pick Pokemon and go for it. Oh, I didn't mean to bump you, little buddy. I'm sorry. I have nine shines. I can't trade over to Scarlet and Violet. Why can't you trade them over? Are they just not in the game? Like that kind of thing? Or like is it something else? Ogre Pond Shiny Restroom Team is so OP. I wiped the floor with my friends. Hey, Good stuff. Good stuff. I, I, I can get behind kicking my friends' butts in a Pokemon battle. Like, remember the first time... You guys know Joe. Like, Jert YT... Uh, good friend. We, uh, both entered a Pokemon tournament that our college was putting on, but Joe didn't have his, uh, his, like, good Pokemon with him, so he was like, hey, can you load me a team? Because there's no chance we're gonna end up playing each other, right? It's not like this is a round robin, so there's no chance we end up playing each other. That way we don't know, like, that way, like, I'm not gonna, like, know his team or whatever, because it's not obviously not gonna happen. We're obviously not gonna play each other. And I was like, yeah, man, sure, here you go. Here's some Pokemon. Use them. This is what they do. Oh, uh, we ended up playing each other, like, third round. <laughs> I was just like, well, here we are. This is unfortunate that I know every single thing every single Pokemon on your team does. So I'm able to counter-prepare accordingly. They aren't in Scarlet and Violet. Oh, gotcha. I have all the chances. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I have everybody there. Like, of course, we're the, we battle in, like, round three. And I'm like, all right, well. I guess we're doing this. 
I'm sorry? Question mark? Like, that's basically all I can say. Do you have any tips for live streaming? Uh, again, like, what kind of tips? Like, for, like, making the content? For getting set up? Uh, cause, like, getting set up, get yourself a good capture card, get yourself a good computer. Um, otherwise, like, for live streaming, just be yourself. People will want to come and watch you if you're just yourself and you're an entertaining personality. So, yeah, that'd be my, my biggest piece of advice is just be yourself. Just be yourself and have fun with it. People want to see, people, if you're enjoying the content, people will want to watch you enjoy it. So, yeah, just be yourself and then, uh, just have fun with it. And then for, like, tech stuff, just get yourself a good computer, get yourself a decent capture card, and you're chilling. Main thing, though, is just have fun with it. Hi, kitty cat. You have been, like, all over the place tonight. What What is going on with you, fam? Who won? I did. <laughs> but it wasn't fair, because I knew literally everything he had. So I felt bad, but like, I'm not going to say no to a dub. <laughs> It's like, well, I know everything that this Electivire is going to do, so I'm just going to protect and then take it out. Like, I think he had Tapu Bulu with, like, a Gracium Z or something like that. I was like, wow, that hits super hard. I'm going to get that thing gone immediately. <laughs> so, like, I think tur I turn one fake fake out of it and then, like, oh, could it with my Marowak. I was just like, yeah, I don't want to deal with this thing. I felt bad because I'm like, yeah, I, I, I don't feel like dealing with this Pokemon. Anyway, <laughs> sorry, Joe. So, yeah, I did win kind of handedly, but again, it wasn't really fair to him because I knew everything his Pokemon did. Should I play Scarlet and Violet, Mario Kart, or Mario Wonder? Uh, depends on, are you in the mood for, depends on what you're in the mood for, I guess. Um, For me, at least, I would play, of those three, I'd probably play Wonder or, or Scarlet and Violet. That'd probably be what I would go for. That's just me, though. That's just me, though. Yo, what's up, Brandon? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hello to you as well. How's it going? Here, little buggy, buggy, buggy. Here, buggy, buggy, bug. Come on. Come out to play. I don't even remember what shiny Sawada looks like. Isn't it like a tealish blue? One of my friends was cheating because he had four overpounds that had the different mask and he didn't win, but it was a nice attempt. Is that cheating? I honestly don't know. I mean, probably, right? Because they have the same name. Like, even though, like, the mask is different, like, they still technically have the same name. So, yeah, probably. That's probably Species Claws. That do be making sense. Still hunting for that Feebas. <laughs> it's alright, you got this. Just take some time. Just gonna take a little bit of time. If it were me, I'd play Scarlet and Violet or Wonder as I'm putting in Mario Kart. Well, can't help you there then. The decision's been made. I don't like playing Mario Kart by myself. I like playing Mario Kart with friends. Or like with my students or whatever. Like at the the game club and everything. Which they be getting worked in Mario Kart. I am I dominate them every single time. Like they honestly gang up on me 3v1. And sometimes I usually pull out the win still. That's how it's done. I like how this guy's just like running away. <laughs> he's not even running away, he's just like, I will hold my ground, he can't see me. Imagine having friends. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know. You shiny buddy? Nope. Are you shiny buddy? Nope. Are you shiny buddy? Nope. Like, it's just more fun playing Mario Kart. Like, I don't... It's fine doing, like, time trials or doing, um, like, Grand Prix or whatever. 
But, like, the most fun I have playing Mario Kart is when I'm in, like, the same room playing with people or, like, when I'm playing over Wi-Fi with people. That's when I have the most fun playing Mario Kart. But don't get me wrong, I still like it, but, like, it's definitely better with, like, a group of people, in my opinion. That's just me, though. Like, people are a lot of disagree with that. Is that a Tatsu Giri? Oh no, it's a core fish. I was like, buddy, you can't. I didn't think you could spawn here. What? I got so confused for a second. I was like, what? You don't spawn here, dude. You don't even spawn here. For real though? Yeah, I mean, like I said, I still like Mario Kart. I still have fun when I play it. But I'm definitely having more fun if I'm playing it with people. I also was Tatsugiri. It, yeah, it looked just like one. That's why I was like, uh, buddy, you do not spawn here. What is wrong with my game right now? Like, I know for a fact you don't spawn here. What is going on? Yeah, that was weird. Like, it straight up looked just like a Tatsugiri. It's like, hold the phone. What? I right, got two minutes left on this grass type sandwich. Let's see if we can get our shiny Sawaddle. Keep our eyes open and our hearts full. Thought you were hunting shroomish still? No, we already got the shroomish. <laughs> My bad, I just didn't change the layout. Cause I wanted to do just like jump in immediately. So now we're we're hunting for Sawaddle right now, not shroomish. We already got the shroomish. They're right there. So now we're looking for a little Sawaddle. With the what's remaining on the sandwich timer. Same, I'm be. Yo, what's up, Barso? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having a good Wednesday. Welcome. I wish you good fortune in the shines to come. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Breloom's cool. Breloom is sick. I love Breloom. Phenomenal Pokemon. I keep thinking this Poochian is a shiny Sawaddle, man. It keeps tripping me up. Yeah, Breloom's super cool. Sorry, I need... Oh, you're good, man. No worries. All good, all good. How much time we got? 40 seconds. Not seeing anything. We're gonna have to probably pick out another thing to go for. Hello? Hello, little one? Sure you don't wanna show up? But I love you. Please? <laughs> Please. I need this. Ah, oh, we're not gonna get it. We got 10 seconds. Rip. Ripperoni, dude. Ripperoni and pepperoni, indeed. No shiny Sawaddle, unfortunately. Oh well. It happens. The Arceus, I grant this Pokemon Trailblazer your blessing at shinies. Thank you, Tokyo Ghost. I appreciate that. Dude, how many times have I got bumping these little guys? You play Mario Kart and use Yoshi Teddy Buggy? I hope both sides of your pillar are warm. I don't use that combo. So don't even worry about it. Not my combo. Alright, so I think since we're already in Kitakami, we'll just do Gligar next. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah, I use um, Rosalina with the uh, Mr. Scooty and the uh, ro Azure Roller Wheels and the uh, Cloud Glider. That's my, my go-to. Alright, I'm going to do this Gligar outbreak real quick. The other character I've been using lately is Pauline. God, I wish I had friends. I'm sure you make some good friends. Like, just take some time. Just like I said, like same thing with Shiny. Just be yourself. Just be yourself, and people want to get to know you. Did you end up getting the Shiny sh Sinistra? I did. I did get it. 
took a while, but it, like we eventually did. It took a couple of good hours though, but we did eventually end up getting it. All right, seven, eight. Glade, please, bud. Nine. Yeah, it took like two and a half hours, but we eventually did get the shiny Sinistra. I use Yoshi and the Mr. Scooty. Mr. Scooty's my usual card combo, but I'll usually play with Rosalina or, um, what's it called? I just realized I don't have the new shiny on the screen. Let me fix that. I'll usually play Rosalina or Pauline, though. Where is the Gligar? Gligar. Gligar. Gligar is Gen 2, right? I'm not crazy. Buddy, where is Gligar? Am I insane? Is this how I find out Gligar is actually Gen 3? I know it's not, but still. Am I, in, am I insane or am I just blind? Which is it? Bro, where is this freaking Gligar? I cannot find... Oh my god, man. It took me forever to find the stupid things shiny. Alright, there we go. Let's get that over there. Get you right there. Move you to here. Perfect. Looking good. There we go. I completely lost track. We're just going to say we're on 11. Completely lost track. 12. 13. Does it matter what character you use? Uh, a lot of them have different stats, so it's really preference. Like, if you like a character with more speed, more acceleration, better turning, it's really personal preference, honestly. Just whatever you like out of, like, the uh, the characters. But a lot of the cars also can, like, um, switch up the stats, too. So, like, if you like a certain character, but you don't like how they play, you can kind of customize it a little bit more, which is helpful. 15. 16. 17. It is Luigi Street of Rollers Cloud Guider. I respect the Rollers Cloud Guider pick. 18. 19. I use Mario B Dasher Standard and Standard. Dang. Pull out the standards, I see. Uh, we'll call this 23, actually, because I'm pretty sure that was that was actually 23. So 24. 25. 26. 27. I like to go mining a BDSP. Yeah, the underground wasn't bad. The underground wasn't bad, honestly. 28. 29. Just because I can destroy canyon walls. <laughs> what? 30. That's what you get your enjoyment out of? I mean, like, you do you, fam. 31. Blind? Yeah, I know I'm blind. I found it, though. 33. 34. 35. 36. It looks so good. Yeah, Shiny Gligar is phenomenal. It's so good. I love it. Same with Shiny Gliscor. They're both excellent shinies. 37. 38. 39. Groudon one shot of the Charcadet. Dang. I mean, I would hope it would. It's a Groudon. 40. That's a Groudon versus a baby. 42. Oh, I hope the ground will win that fight. Sad. <laughs> nose pass? What about nose pass? 45. There are some nose pass around here. 46. 47. 48. 49. 50. 51, 52, 53, I use the Yoshi, Mr. Scooty, Parachute, and the Roll Wheel. Solid, solid. 54. A lot of my students use Yoshi as well. Nah, I'm a day one Rosalina stand. 56, 57, 58. I'm the biggest Rosalina stand you'll ever meet in the universe. I love Rosalina so much. 60. And one for good luck. Charconet was the terror was in a terror raid? Oh, okay. 
and you're gra uh, one shot in the raid. Pretty solid, not bad. All right, I'm not seeing a shiny glider at the moment. I'm gonna save. And let's cook up a picnic, shall we? What do I need for... Oh. Is this good? Okay. What do I need for flying? Flying, I need prosciutto. I don't know if I have prosciutto. We might have to do the, the ground, which is ham, I believe. Do I have prosciutto? Uh, I have one. I guess we're doing ground, because I don't feel like flying. We'll go bitter... Bitter sour, why not? Let's do it. That was a shiny glider, but it was just nose pass. Oh, got you, got you, got you, got you. I get what you mean now. Yep, still no word on my Dungeons and Dragons game, so it's a good thing I, I decided to stream anyway. Because <laughs> nobody showed up. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love it. So I just want to check that real quick, guys. Mubby. Alright, time to lay some ham down. Ain't nobody lay ham like Kai Guy lays ham. Other gamers are like. Top 500 in Overwatch, Ascendant in Valorant. Uh, Kai Guy lays the best ham in, in the video game. <laughs> let me be quiet. Let me let me shut the hell up. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. I use my Luigi combo or Funky Kong with either Bitty Buggy, Mr. Scooty with Rollers and Cloud. Solid combo, I dig it. Pretty solid, pretty solid. It's no Rosalina, but you know. Yoshi's number one character right now is Yoshi OP. Is Yoshi OP right now? Second terror raid time to go feed the Skarmory. Oh wait, there's a Rufflet. Oh, Rufflet should be free for that ground on ears. But if you mess it up, we're chilling. We saved. We're fine. It's all good. It's all good. He's already dead, and I did nothing yet. I mean, you complain? Oh, that's free rewards. That's not bad. Getting those free rewards out of the way. All right, there we go. Uh, game? <laughs> I thought my game froze because I was like, what is happening? All right, we got the Groudon encounter. Or Groudon, the ground sandwich, excuse me. Uh, hopefully that doesn't give me too many other grounds. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of sand true, and I don't like that. Yo, what's up, Randy? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having a good Wednesday. When I was trying to the largest, I made the word, the worst sandwich I ever made. One half was just nine red peppers, and the other half was the cucumber and the pickle. I mean, it sounds like a Subway veggie delight, you know? That sounds like a Subway se veggie delight. Like, I don't think that sounds that bad. I'm not going to lie. I probably would eat that. Will this count? No, I didn't think it would, but I just had to check. Fine, I'll just run down this this hill. If I only could. That doesn't sound too bad, I'm not gonna lie. No, Urba, I'm not giving up. What star raids are you doing? Yoshi, Birdo, Peach, Daisy, and Peachhead are all the same sets. Are they all the best character? Okay. But they're not Rosalina. <laughs> Rosalina is the best character because she is, and I said so. <laughs> is that a shiny Gligar? No, that's a Shinx. Okay. It's the same color as shiny Gligar. That's why I was like, wait a minute. Larvesta, I knew you meant Larvesta. Isn't Urba five stars? I thought it was four was the start point. That was four through six. I could be wrong. I thought it was four through six, though. I think it's four through six. I'm, I might be wrong about it. Somebody might need to fact check that. Hey, Dorothy, what's up? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Hope you're having a good Wednesday. The annoying one is here. You're not annoying. <laughs> it's three to six stars? Oh, okay. I don't know why I thought it was... Um, I thought it was four to six. I don't know why. Depends on what you prefer. True. True. It definitely... Definitely, like, pick your pick your favorite characters and everything. Like, the whole reason, like, I, I pick characters whenever I play games like Smash or, um, 
like Mario Kart. I use every time I pick a character, it's like it's based on characters I like. So like it's usually like Rosalina, Pauline, and Smash. Like it's um like Sora, um Pyramithra, Byleth, characters I like. Ogrepan is so unique. Ogrepan is very unique for sure. Arceus is like the same thing, same stuff, but better? What? What about Arceus? Oh, the terrestrializing the mask? Yeah, it's super cool the way like the mask just gets massive and it, like it becomes like a big shield for it almost. It's so sick. King Booster from say has the same stats as Rosa. Yeah, but he, he's not Rosalina though. Like that Rosa like Rosalina diff. <laughs> That's a bit of a Rosalina diff, I'm sorry to say. Daisy is so much fun because playing against CPUs because I love her loud and tomboy personality. I'm not like a big Daisy lover. I think Daisy's fine. Daisy's cool. But she's not Rosalina. <laughs> yeah, no matter what anybody says, my immediate statement after is to follow will be, but they're not Rosalina. I love Pauline. Pauline is great. Pauline's super great. Especially in Odyssey. Pauline's so good in Odyssey. Ogrepan is overrated? Really? I really like Ogrepan. I think it's super solid. I think it's good uh, design-wise and in competitive. It's very good in competitive. Like, extremely good in competitive. Especially the um, the Grass Fire one, I think, is very good. Uh, the regular, just pure Grass one can hold items, which is really nice. I have every Rosalina old Mario Kart tour, and I'm proud to say so. That's what I like to hear. Now we're getting somewhere. That's the kind of things I want to hear. Let's go. What about Terrapagos, though? Uh, I, I, okay. I hate Terrapagos's stellar form. Like, the one where it, like, terrestrializes all the way, and, like, becomes like a, a big amalgamation of all three of its forms. I hate it. I think it looks so bad. It's not even funny. I I love baby Terrapagos. I think baby Terrapagos is adorable. I love when you send Terrapagos out. Like, it's terrestrial form. I think that looks phenomenal. But its stellar form is disgusting. I think it's awful. I think it is so bad. That might be controversial, but I think it is terrible. Even from the first moment I saw it, I was like, that is bad. I do not care. His Terra is kind of mid, but it's still cool. Terrapagos is cool, but the Terra is just so... I wouldn't even say mid. I would say it's downright bad. Like, truthfully. Slew one over the Chef in Volun Volundum. What's Volundum? Rosa all side. 20 pulls each. And I think Halloween Rosa in the first 10, too. Hey, not bad. That's some pretty good luck. I don't know too much about Tor, but that sounds like good luck. He looks more, dude, like straight up, like uh, Tokyo goes there perfectly. He literally looks like a cake. Like he looks like a wedding cake. Like he looks like what's going to be served at the wedding I'm going to this weekend. Like straight up. That's what it looks like. That is 1000% what it looks like. It looks like a wedding cake. That is like the perfect, perfect way to describe it. If you look at all the Rosa costumes in Mario Kart Tour, I think you'd love them all. If not, if you love most of them, if not all. I'll check them out. I'll pull them up on the side real quick. Rosa. Lena Mario Kart Tour costumes. Oh, Okay. I guess my browser doesn't trust the Mario Kart Tour fandom.com. Interesting. Uh, the Halloween Rosalina is adorable. I love that. It's very good. I'm trying to like get like a look at like all of them. Um. There's one of, like, her in a cat costume? Or maybe that's a mod. Oh, there's, like, a chef one? That's adorable! You can't even use Baby Tropicos in battle. I think it's just there for marketing, to be honest. Yeah, probably. It's a good shout. 
It probably is. It probably is just there for marketing. Like, you can't even use it. It's so dumb. Like, the second you send it out, it's like, alright, I'm gonna turn into my terrestrial form. Which, like, again, the terrestrial form is phenomenal. It's it's so adorable. But then the stellar form is just so hideous. Like, what happened? Like, what happened to this thing? It's so dumb. Oh, come on, man. Is that good? Thank you. Bullet and Rosa is an alt with her wearing a dress that's worn in or around answer. Oh, it's probably this one I'm looking at. Okay, yeah, I think it is that one. Yeah, it is very good. I like it. It debuted with the Amsterdam tour with Amsterdam Nash. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Aurora Rosa is my favorite. I think that's the one I'm looking at, and that's probably my favorite as well. Cat Rose in the game. The cat one's cute. The cat one's pretty adorable. I think the Aurora, I'm assuming which one the Aurora is. Like, it's one of like, uh, it's like a blue dress with like purple on the top. I think that's that one. I think Aurora Rose is probably my favorite. I think that's what that one probably is. Can't tell for sure because I don't know what they're called, but still. That sucks because what's the point of it? It's straight up like what Viridian said, marketing. It's like, oh hey, here's this adorable little Galapagos turtle. Do you want it? Great. Too bad. <laughs> That'll be $30. For <laughs> 400 subs, you should do a playthrough where people give you a Pokemon to use but only one Pokemon per route. So like an Egglock kind of thing. Maybe. Never done an Egglock before. We'll see. She was almost really mean to me though, but she still came to me at the last minute. Hey, good stuff. Just for show? Yeah, I, I think it's just straight up for marketing. Like, straight up. Mian Xiao? What about Mian Xiao? Sorry, track's name is Amsterdam Drift. You're good. I, I knew what track you meant. Because it's in, it's in Deluxe too, it's in the booster course. So you're good, you're good. Yeah, I know which one you mean. I like Amsterdam Drift. I think it's fine. It's not my favorite city track, but it's a uh, it's it's decent. The best ones are Berlin Byways and uh, Sydney Sprint, though. Actually, no, and Vancouver Velocity. There are some good city tracks. Like I'll say it. I'll say it. Vancouver Velocity, Sydney Sprint. Um. Uh, the the one the Bangkok one. The, that one's really good, but I think my favorite's still Sydney Sprint. The only one I think I really don't like is the Los Angeles one. Like, the Los Angeles one's so boring. It's so boring. Who the, who the what? Say Tracks Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Version from Tor. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. But I didn't play Tor, so this was like my first experience with them was through Deluxe. How is Groudon already dead? Michienne's so strong. Like, really strong. It has, like, base 120 attack, I want to say. Manshaw's insanely strong. How about the DLC using my dad's money? <laughs> Can't relate, sadly. I, I use my own hard-earned money to pay for it. Who is Mianxiao? I don't know what that Pokemon is. It's from Gen 5. Yeah, it's super good. Mianxiao's phenomenal. Yeah, Minshaw's great. It hits like a truck. But that's basically all it can do. Berlin was fun. Loved the alt that came with it. Luigi Lederhosen. Oh, that sounds funny. Luigi with Lederhosen sounds funny. That sounds pretty funny. Excuse me, that's a lot of damage. It wrecked me in a Pokemon belt. Minshaw's strong. It's so sick. I think I used one in, I want to say black and white two, one time, and it was really good. It put in work. Oh, speaking of, there's a Mian Fu. <laughs> That's what evolves into Mian Chao. Fun little fact. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe stream at 400 subs. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I haven't figured out 
what to do for it yet. We're not even there, so. Haven't even thought of it. A Terra Raid, no less. I mean, at least, like, that's better than getting wrecked by in a Pokemon battle. That's better than getting 6 0 by a Mian Shao in Pokemon battle, I guess. Like, small victories, I suppose. Mian Shao's awesome. I mean, some martial arts Pokemon who doesn't love that. Yeah, Mian Shao's sick. Mian Shao is so sick. It's such a dope mon. No shame, more like sick in that. It's just a good mon. That's a good Pokemon right there. It is one of the like kill leaders in my Pokemon draft leagues. One of the one of the draft leagues I'm in. I think it's like second or third place. I want to say. Yeah, I think it's like a truck, dude. It's so good. I Mianfu mean, was my first full odds shiny in Scarlet and Violet. Hey, nice. Kai got random battle tournament win. Um, don't know yet. Don't know yet. We shall see. That might be something fun to just do over the summer. While I'm not uh, teaching or anything. I think that could be fun. Doing like a random battle tournament or something with viewers. That could be pretty fun, I suppose. Mon just killed a legendary, has it gone mad? It's strong, man. And just because a Pokemon's a legendary doesn't mean it's good. Like, I mean, Groudon obviously is good, but like, there's some legendary Pokemon that suck. Like, Shaman's pretty bad, sadly, because I really like Shaman. Um, Calyrex is terrible, unless it's like, um, in one of the rider forms. There's some legendary Pokemon that are pretty bad. My girl's Mian my girl Mian is currently being trained up on the path level 100. A good stuff. Kyogre's still on the table. There you go. Although Groudon's bulkier than Kyogre. I don't I don't know if Kyogre's the play. Like Kyogre will hit harder. But Groudon's definitely gonna eat more hits than Kyogre. Especially on the physical side. Or when I was trying to catch Mewtwo and accidentally use Spirit Shackle, this did you I, which O code, of course, had to reset. Yeah, you know. This did you I is so good. Straight up one of my favorite starters of all time. Easy top three IMO. It's so good. I need some duo BP. You got this. You got this. Just don't get wrecked by the Mian Chow again. You'll be fine. Surely you beat it the second time, right? <laughs> ba -dum -bum. Here, Glagger, Glagger, Glagger. Glagger! Time to finish this Terra Raid, and then Shiftry is done -zo. Oh, Shiftry's free low. That's actual free low. Just be careful, because both Ground and Kyogre are weak to it. Doing homework, they have to prove the Pythagorean Theorem. Oof. That's a big ol' oof. But, I mean, does, like, just doing A squared plus B squared equals C squared count? Because <laughs> then you just be like, alright, well, 64 plus this... Using a ghost couple with Mancho. I think Mancho does also get scrappy though, as one of its abilities, so that lets it hit uh, ghost types with fighting moves. I want to say it gets scrappy, unless I'm dumb. Am I dumb? Let's find out. Let's find out together. Let's find out together. Is Kai dumb? That's actually what I'm Googling. Mancho Smogon. Nope, Kai's dumb. It gets inner focus, regenerator, and reckless. So I agree with Dorothy. I 1000% agree with Dorothy. Using a ghost type would be very helpful against me and Xiao. 
Spicy Herba, hey, not bad. Giratina sold that shift tree. That's kind of surprising because it's a dark type. And Giratina's weak to dark, but Giratina's also bulky as hell. So I guess it do make sense. Oh, I see that shiny Glagger in the distance. I'm so glad I didn't reset. Let's go, baby. Shiny Glagger. Get over here, little buddy. That shiny's so good. It's so good. Get back here, you. I saw you. Get over here, buddy. Get over here, buddy. I probably should have grabbed my... Um... My Smeargle with Soak now that I think about it. But, oh, well, Shiny Glagger, baby. Let's go. Uh, what's your learn set, buddy? Glagger Gen 9 learn set. You are level 64, so you're going to have Sword Stance, Crab Hammer, X Scissor, and Screech. All right, let's go for the False Swipe. You're pretty bulky, so like I feel like you're going to eat these hits up. Inner Focus is a great ability. True, it is a good ability. All right, take you down nice and low. You're going to Swords Dance in my face. I don't know how I feel about that, bud. Not quite sure how I feel about that. Oh, it's a Terra Ghost. Oh, that makes sense then. Yeah, that'll probably make it a little bit easier. Oh, you're plus four, buddy. Why don't we calm down? All right, let's think about what Pokeball to use here. Uh, Great Ball's pretty good. Uh, Dive Ball, because I think Shiny Gliscor matches that pretty perfectly. Yeah, we'll do a little. We'll do a little Dive Ball action. Why not? We'll do a little Dive Ball action. I think. Okay, just kidding. Game said no. Crab hammer, eaten, swallowed it like it was nothing. Gosh, I love Giratina and I love taking out guys who are stronger than me. True. Once I were being through a team of dark types with Yas and Oris, because why not? True. I'm gonna use Zamazen to beat this raid. Hey, best of luck. Oh, quick capture on the Glagger. Let's go. Shiny Glagger joining the team. That's what we like to see. Yes, dude. Let's go! You wanna learn Toxic Onion? Nah, you're okay. Let's go! It builds its nest on a steep cliff. When it is done gliding, it hops along the ground back to its nest. Adorable. Yo, what's up, Amy? Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Hope you're having yourself a good Wednesday. Let's go. Let's go, indeed. Ultra Ball? I kind of like the Die Ball better, because Shiny Glide score, I think, matches the Die Ball perfectly. Uh, what do we want to name you? Are you a boy or the girl? You are a boy. Someone Zenta's is eating these like Olive Garden. There you go. Straight up like those breadsticks. All day breadsticks. And then Punk Rock? Why Punk Rock? Um. Hmm. I kind of like Punk Rock, actually. Like, I don't know where it's from, but I kind of like it. I kind of dig that. Wouldn't that be a good name for Toxtrus or Obstagoon? True. True. That's a good point. Um, Zama Zenta died. Oh no. Uh, I'm gonna name you. Hmm. Maybe in relation. Maybe. Mr. Glagger. <laughs> Mr. Glagger. <laughs> please, please. Mr. Glagger is my father. <laughs> Tim Gerald. I don't know where y'all are pulling these names out of. Glider. Glider the Gligar. I'm going to name him... Um, Tim Mikkel Mikkelrat? What? Tim? Why are we naming it Tim, guys? <laughs> Why Tim? Uh, I'm going to name you... Uh, I don't really have, like, a good glide. All right, every, you know what? Fine. Everybody's saying Tim. Whatever, Tim. You. This is. This is you guys. This is. This is all because of you guys. We're naming him Tim. Why not? His name is Tim now, and our Shroomish is evolving. No, bad Shroomish. Stop evolving, Onion. We're naming him Tim. This is your guy. This is what you guys wanted. Remember, this is what you guys wanted to name him. We wanted to name him Tim. Tim, of course. <clears throat> Alright, let's go pick out a ground type to hunt real quick. Paldea Dex. Can't believe you didn't get that. What? What did you say? I missed it. 
Oh, the Tim McCulrath? Zama's dead again. Sweep Reloom. Oh, I didn't evolve him. Sorry. Kai was a Rise Against fan, so yeah. What, wait, what, what did I miss? Is that their front man's name? Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I didn't even think of that. No Breloom? I'll evolve eventually. For this, I got my Switch. Solid, solid. Mike Ness would have been a fun name, too. Tim, Tim, Tim. I don't know why y'all wanted Tim so much. I believe so. Yeah, you were right. I looked it up. More spicier, but hey, not bad. Like Offspring's guitarist, should I name it Noodles? That would've been Noodles is a do Noodles is way. I actually kind of like Noodles, but we already named it Tim. This is what you guys wanted. I can't change it now. You guys wanted Tim, so we're going Tim. I really like Noodles, but you guys wanted Tim. All right, what's a ground type we could go and hunt? I'm trying to find a good ground type. I'm not seeing anything that's really sticking out at the moment. So far, it's just been Diglett Doug Trio. Um, Zomic succeeded even though he died. At least he got through it, all right? I hate signs and cosines. Signs and cosines are the worst. We could do Toad School slash Toad Scroll, maybe. They might know a good spot where they'll spawn. Do they spawn next to Madali? Did Toad School and Toad Scroll spawn next to Madali? Let's go take a look. Let's try it. Why not? Six star Salamence. Oof, best of luck. Rhyhorn? Rhyhorn's not a bad shout either. Where do I find Rhyhorn? Terra Rock? Uh, Terra Rock doesn't seem too bad, actually. Toad School and the Sora Cat Trail. Where's that at? I don't know where that is. I was also playing Smash and Brilliant Diamond. Not bad. Good array of games. Might use Michael for my next Terra Raid. Who's Michael? <laughs> How much time do we have on our sandwich, anyway? Eight minutes? Eh. Ryan is in Savannah Biome. Okay. Near Casa Royal Lake? Uh, it seems like we're getting a couple in here. We'll just hang out here. We'll just hang out here, because we're getting some good spawns. There's a couple. Yeah, we'll just we'll just vibe here, because we're getting a good amount. Meow Scarada Michael. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Picking up what you're putting down. Alright, we'll just hang out around here. See if we can find the Toad School. Time for Coridon versus Steel. Well, thankfully, it's part fighting type. So, that should make your life a little bit easier. How many Shinies do you have? Uh, a lot? I don't know the exact amount. Probably near or around 100. Just in this game, I think. That might be that might be a bit high. I don't know. A decent amount. A hundred might be a bit much. I might not have that much. But a decent amount. Pretty good amount overall, I would say. If you slept though, you sleep talk. There you go. I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think I'm quite there. But I've got a good amount, I'm pretty sure. He has 12,323,829 shinies. That's just a lie. <laughs> I do not have that many. I can promise you that. Sarah Ledge? What about Sarah Ledge? My profile says 50. How do you check that? I actually don't know. I actually have no idea how to do that. He's doing decent damage. Hey, not bad. He has Scarlet. I am indeed playing the Scarlet. How do you check how many shinies we have? Like, is there a way you can check that on, like, your trainer card or whatever? How did I bump into that one, not the one that was right in front of me? Does anybody else think that's weird? Does anybody else think that was weird? Under your Pokedex? How? Profile, maybe? Uh, 203. <laughs> 203. Uh, so 203 is the answer we're looking for. <laughs> well, 
there's our answer. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to be that high. I thought 100 was going to be too high. I was close. You put like 12 million. Nice. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, we got a good amount. I'm known to dabble a little bit in the in the shiny the shiny hunting space. Just a little bit. Sweet amount. Hey, thank you. Try my best. You're the best. Alright. Nothing's gonna ever keep you down. My age is showing when singing that song. Like, damn. Not bad, thank you. Yo, what's up? Is it, what's it, is it Nanda Gamer? What's up, Nanda Gamer? How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Hello, hello to you as well. How you doing? Here, Toad School, come out and play, buddy. I'm fine a lot of you, but none of you are the color I want you to be. Shiny pooper? What? Is Harold just gonna kill right on shoot? I mean... Heal it. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what else to say besides that. Heal it. Use one of the heal cheers. Do it. You gotta keep him separated. Yo, true. True. I don't even see this guy, man. He is like wake camouflaged. There he is. I was so close to this beating this area much. Ah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I'm sure you'll get it next time. You can always challenge it again. Especially if you were close. He said come out to play that's had a reference to the offspring track. Yo, true. He was so low. I've had my fair share of raids like that too, where I get them so low. And I just I just can't get the final KO on him. Tap me more times than I would like to admit. So frustrating. For some reason, when I see someone streaming, I want to battle them. All right, fair enough. That is a fair sentiment. I subbed. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for that. Much appreciated. A Lord of Ghost Terror Claws. It doesn't seem that bad. It doesn't seem that bad. I don't think that'd be too bad. I've heard somebody do a 12 hour stream where you hunt the worst shines like Gengar, Garchomp, so on and so forth. That sounds awful. <laughs> that sounds awful. Like, I'd be miserable doing that stream. Because I wouldn't even be excited about getting the shines. I'd be like, oh, great, guys. Our 12th shiny Gengar. Wahoo. I remember almost losing a raid. I was raiding with just myself, Aaron, and two NPCs, both of us at level 100s, and that's what won us, our high levels. Levels do matter quite a bit. Unless less levels don't count for raids. No, they do. They do count. 1,000% they do count. Because if you pull up with, like, a level 1 Fletchling to, like, a 6-star raid, you're going to get bodied. And they're very knowledgeable about raids. No, levels do matter 100%. 100% they do. Because they definitely don't scale. I know that much to be true. That is the point. Yeah, you're supposed to like take on stronger uh, raids as you get stronger, like that kind of thing. Whole uh, progression plan. How many shines have you gotten? Uh, we actually just checked that like two minutes ago. Uh, 203 was the uh, was the number that my trainer card said. See so this Pokemon raid done. Best of luck. Remember Lucario took a development of raid in just one hit? That was so funny. The first time I ever did a raid was with my shiny Azumarill that I EV trained. And uh, it like one shot like a, a four or five star Pokemon with like belly drum play rough. And I was like, why are people saying these are hard? This is easy. <laughs> I never, I didn't understand it. And then I like my second or third raid I got bodied and I was like, oh, I get it now. Brought me back down to earth a little bit. Here's a free Metagross, Aaron. Take it. Yo, true. Cop himself a free Metagross. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Hope it's your River Tokyo Ghost. Yeah, same. I know you've been, like, grinding it. Not bad. I have 471. If I get to 500, I'll be giving away some Dream Shinies. Cool. Hope I do, too. You got this. You got this. You'll be fine. Which time we got? 30 seconds. I might fail. Ah, not like with that attitude. Just gotta give it your best. Look, Plushy Man's offering help too. That's a great idea. Gear is about to die. Oof. It's a bit of an oof. Use the heal powers. Trust me, they're good. They come in handy. Heal up, exactly, yeah. You gotta make use of the heal powers. They're so clutch. And, ah, That's unfortunate. My game just froze for a second there. You'll love to see it. Alright, no luck on the Toad School. Our next, um... What's it called? An outbreak we're gonna do is all the way down by All For Nada. I tried, but he killed me before I could. Ah, I gotcha. That's unfortunate. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna fly to Alfernada to do a uh, Dano outbreak. Or Dino, excuse me. Alright, let's go grab this little gif. And let's get him on board. Where are you, buddy? I know you're Gen 5. You're all the way near the end of the Pokedex. Yo, what's up, Dark Gaming? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Hello to you as well. How you doing today? Maybe if I put my Scroopy in the box, put him in PLA and evolve him there. Uh, does it matter? I don't know if it matters, honestly. I want to quit. I, I think technically you can just run from the raid, can't you? Like, if, you're, if it's really that bad. All for nada, I remember I was trying to catch Antique Cincy there. That sounds like a very grindy hunt. Obviously not shiny hunting, but I went out to catch two of them. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, that does not seem like a very fun grind. Especially trying to get a shiny one. Like, no thank you. I would rather not. Uh, where's my dino? There's my dino. Perfect. Swap you out for Shroomish. There he is. Move you there. Get you there. Make you a little smaller. There we go. Looking good, buddy. Well, let's scooch you up a tiny bit. There we go. That's perfect. That's what we like to see. All right. How do I... Is it up here? Where is this encounter? Hello? Oh, hey, go, go. How you doing? Is it up... Hello, game? I'm trying to fly here. Is it up here where the Dano are? Or where are they? Are they all the way on the top of this thing? They're, like, way up here. Wait, are they actually... There's no shot, right? Where are you, buddy? Are they on top of this waterfall or something? Or is there like a cave down there I don't know about? Oh, they're probably in the cave. Oh, I bet you they're in the cave. Can we hunt with you? Uh, not at the moment. Maybe, maybe eventually, but not right now. I usually like to hunt on my own. It's nothing against people. I just like to do all my hunts on my own. Can I go into this waterfall? No. Oh. Doing good. Just shiny Pikachu and Brilliant Diamond. Hey, not bad. Best of luck on that shiny Pikachu. Best of luck. 400 stubs. Go for Antique Sinichat. No, thank you. I'm good. Uh, Where is the cave? Is it over here? No, it's all the way down there. Then how do I get to this Dano outbreak? Yeah, that sounds awful. I would rather not do that, thank you. How do I get to where these Dano are? At least I got both, but I kind of want a third to trade off to a friend. Who's giving me multiple shines, even that's not enough. I'm sure they just appreciate the thought. Like, you know what they say, it's the thought that counts. Rayquaza time, what a shot raid. This was the shortest raid ever. I mean, like, are you complaining? No, that sounds nice. I sound pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Where do I find this Dano? 
Where are you at, little buddy? You down here? Pretty sure I've checked down here already, but I'll check again. Where are you at, my dude? Hmm. There's not like a, a cave behind this waterfall, is there? No, there's not. Huh. Interesting. And how do I get to where these Dano are? Can I run around this, maybe? You know, it seems like Plushy Man's got you, Tokyo Ghost. Seems like y'all might do some raids together. So I'm repaying for the shinies. He actually caught me. He caught me all to the same shiny and gave them out to me and my friends. Oh, that's really cool of them to do that. Yeah, I can definitely understand wanting to pay him back a little bit then. That's super cool of them to do that for you. Oh, maybe up here? Question mark? No Mystica, but still up to par. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. I always use trade him at least a pseudo legendary and gallery every time he wants to trade a, a, trade a shiny. Nothing less ever. I'm sure they appreciate it then. Best of luck to your shiny hunt too. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you. Just to be of all of my scroopy noise. Oh, it's probably this cave. I bet you it's this. Surely it's this, right? Surely we're in the right spot now. It's got to be in here, right? Please? Please be, like, right here. This is this is where it should be, right? Yeah! Okay, we found it. Let's go. That's what we like to see. Alright, I'm gonna save real quick. My Reggie Drago just reached peak? What did your Reggie Drago do? What happened with your Reggie Drago? I mean, usually the shinies are low effort. He hunted for a female guard and found some male ones. I mean, like, still, the thought that counts. I have a shiny male guard now and no way to repay him properly. I'm sure he doesn't mind. Like, even just, like, giving him something. Like, I'm sure he just does it for the fun of it. Shiny High Dragon is worth it. True. Shiny High Dragon is very worth it. All right, let's do it. Where are all the day now? Oh, they're up here, probably. Uh, nope. There's just two of them, it looks like. Uh, two? Where are they? Why are none spawning? Three? Shiny High Dragon is very worth it, though. I agree. Maybe down here? He one-shot the legend. There's a couple. Four. He one-shot the legendary by accident. All right, not bad. But he's all stronged up. One of the only green shines I like is High Dragon. I think I'm inclined to agree. As the resident green shiny hater, I think I'm inclined to agree. I'm not gonna lie. Like, y'all know me. I will clown on green shinies, but honestly, High Dragon's pretty good. Pretty good. One of the only... I already read that. I feel like very good... I feel very good giving Aaron that second Antique Sinistee. I guess he felt good giving me shinies just as well as about, about Sinistee. Yeah, probably. That's the way I see it. I'm sure that he just appreciates the thought. Like, just that you were, like, thinking of him. That kind of thing. So did Michael the Meow Scarada. Not bad. PLA shines have similar odds to a shine to regular antiques in the sea. Do they actually? I don't know what the PLA odds are, so I, I don't know that. Thought they'd be lower. I'm not gonna lie though. Made Meshram have night terrors. Nice. That's what I like to hear. Dog, where are these Dano? Hello? You should play Power World. Maybe my students kind of amp it up, but. I don't know. I wanted to check it out, but like, eh. I don't know. I might check it out eventually, but on the at the moment, it's not in the cards. Low shiny PLA odd is 128. Antique Sensei is 100. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. I did not know that. Not Pal World. I've heard it's fine. I've heard it's fun. I was still Pal World's fun. I don't know if I, I'm i going to play it necessarily, but I've heard good things. Like, my, my students amp it up. Is that a shiny goodbye? It's not, right? Well, I'm just going to KO with a double check, though. Get the goodbye. Alright, well, it wasn't the shiny goodbye. 
We've got that confirmation. Dude, how am I struggling to find these Danos so much? Oh, are they... Can I get up here? Can I go higher in here? Is there a place I can get higher up in here or no? Like, maybe they're up there? How do I... Where are these Danos spawning? Mm, this might be... This might be a no-go. Because of how annoying these spawns are. Like, we're only getting, like, two, three spawns each. This actually might be a no-go. No kind of close. Yeah. One, one of the 120. Oh, okay. Here's a couple. Here's a couple. There's a couple. We'll keep trying. We'll see. My Greninja hates the game. He says just to keep copy. What? 11. 12. I don't know, it looks fun. I thought it looked fun. 13. 14. Every time I say power, my plush Greninja falls over. Alright, now we're getting some spawns. There we go. 15. That's more like it. That is what I like to see. Much better. I get my antique Sinistee without looking for antique outbreaks. So I'm usually getting them from regular spawns to manipulation whatsoever. Hey, not bad. Some good luck you got there. 18. On top of that, I can't visually see whether they have the stamps through their animations. So it's just encounter ones. Catch phony. Reset try again. True. 19. Try here is here. I think this should be I. Right. We're getting some actual spawns now. 20. Isn't your starter Pokemon the first Pokemon you got to level 100? Me? Um, me? No. Unless y'all are talking to each other. But no, mine was not. 21. My first level here was an Articuno with Shiny. Oh, interesting. Just like a random Dunsparce chilling back here. What's up, homie? I think we're at 22 encounters, I want to say. Go ahead, buddy. Go get him. 23. 24. See if these... Okay, yeah, we're pretty close. We're right on the money. 25. That's what I like to see. Alright, now if I could just see more, di more dino, I'd really appreciate that. Dunsparce is just vibing. True. Mine was my starter. Makes sense. It's your first Pokemon you get, so it just kind of makes sense. 27. Oh, I saw that little guy. Oh, he disappeared. Well, this little guy is taking his place. 28. My first level 100 was the Xerneas and Galar. 29. Amazingly overpowered Karen Steel types with close combat. 2. Not bad. 30. 31. I think my first ever level 100, like in any game ever, was probably Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. 32. Um, I think it was my Star Raptor. I got to level 100. I think I got my Star Raptor to level 100 before my starter. 33. 34. So all the way back on the DS, I got my first level 135. It's been a solid, who knows how long since then. I don't want to date myself real quick. Dang, Star Raptor, Star Raptor's clean. Star Raptor is so clean. So fresh, so clean. That's how he do. Dude, where are these dino? Is that a shiny to land it, or is that just the lighting? That's just the lighting. 38. I got a used copy of Ultra Sun with my 3DS and got the decision I passed level 80 or 90. Solid. Very solid. 39. Caught all my other Exclusive Legendaries. The other only one, the other only caught one, so I caught the rest. There you go. Somewhere in spirit they appreciated that, even though they didn't know that you had the copy now. 41. 
42. What do you got, buddy? Any more around here? Oh, yep, there's one. Go get him, buddy. You can do this. I believe in you. 43. There's a Meditite down there. I don't care. Don't care. Grego do not be caring. 44. 45. Just hope they won't get mad at me for not shiny hunting. The hoe they caught was not shiny, so I hope it's fine with them. I'm sure they don't care. They don't even. It's not their copy anymore anyway. 46. 47. 48. 49. Hello, Mr. Dino. Are you here? There's one. Alright, it should be number 50, I think? Question mark? Might be a little bit off on my count, actually. Let's see by how much. Hmm. Wow, I buy a lot, apparently. I know a lot's like only two, but still, like I haven't seen the thing pop up. Unless the guys I've KO'd up here didn't count, maybe? Interesting. Dude, did I just miss the pop-up or something? Did I miss the pop-up being like, the encounters are about to, they're running low or something? I had to have, because I think we're well beyond it. No, I didn't. That's just 50 right there. 51. 52. 53. Hello, 53. Yo, what's up, Mike? How you doing, my man? Brother Kai, Brother Kai. I've always remembered what the language limit is in this chat. I'd never say the four or six letter words, but like, can I call this guy? <laughs> if it's it, it, PG. Keep it PG. If it was, how about this? If it was in Shrek, you can say it. If the word was used in the movie Shrek, you can say it. If it was not used in the movie Shrek, you cannot say it. 54, 55. That's that's my answer. You can evolve it. Your score would be nice. 56, 57. I know, I feel like I'm dishonoring it, but not shiny hunting and Xerneas at least. Why not? Might as well. 58. 59. What Pokemon should I catch Puturin in? The Dream Ball, Love Ball, Master Ball? Uh, Love Ball. 60. And one for good luck. And a second one for good luck. Or Riker Dialga, do it. Master, don't use Master as a guaranteed catch. Exactly. I would say Dream. I mean, I would say love. I think love ball. I have two masters. Yeah, but like, eh. I don't know. Just Shrek 1 or all of them? <laughs> you can... All of them is fine. Yeah, but you can only use masters if you need them. Yeah, like, I wouldn't I wouldn't waste a master on something like that when you don't have to. Like, if you really want to do it for the, the color match, like, go for it. But, like... It's up to you. Especially if it's a guaranteed catch. It's all up to you. Shrek 2. All of them count, Mike. That's fine. That's why my master should be wasting on 100% catch rates. Yeah, I'm not going to use a master ball in Pokemon with like 100% catch rate. Definitely not. Form yourself, you should watch Shrek 2 on stream. I do not want to be getting copyrighted, so I will not be doing that. Okay, I'll do it. Which one are you going to go with? Alright, Cucumber, Pickle. I think I'll probably want to do Dark here, so I think Dark is the fillets. I have exactly three left. Perfect. And we'll go Spicy Sour. Spicy Sour sounds like a good combo. Why not? Oh man, well I don't want to get my channel copyrighted, so I'm sorry. Okay, why does this lantern look like actual garbage? Like, did nobody think this through? Did nobody who made this game think it through? Like, this looks so bad. Like, I can barely see because of how bright the stupid lantern is. Like, bro, come on, man. Come on, man. Got him. Hey, nice. What Pokemon would Shrek have? Um. 
What Pokemon would Shrek have? Probably like a, uh, probably a Mudbray to represent Donkey. Probably a Mudbray to represent Donkey. Uh, maybe something like a Clef Key, something like a, like a, like an Aegis Slash, maybe like a, the Sword and Shield Pokemon. Ogre Pond's a good shout. Ogre Pond's a very good shout. He's literally an ogre, so it makes sense he would have Ogre Pond. Go <laughs> turn on the Discord light mode for real. 15 times the detail, something. Scarlet and Violet cutting corners and looking like booty? No way. I know, right? Who would have guessed this? Who would have possibly guessed that, right? Certainly not me. Certainly not me. Alright, we got our dark type sandwich going. We got the dark type sandwich going. Let's get our shiny dino. Here, little buddy. Come on. Just gonna let a couple of them spawn. Just gonna take a peek up here. You can't see me. I'm not here. You can't see me. No, you can't see me. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Long, long live the king. No! <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Oh, this one's going for a swim. Look at him. He's so cute. I love Dino. He's so cute. He has no eyes, and I love it. Literally John Cena, for real. Boop-boop-boop. boop 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 Ogre Pond is a Pokemon? Not gonna lie, Chief, I thought you said something worse. What? Yeah, Ogre Pond is a Pokemon. It's from the DLC. It's a, a pure grass type. But it can, if you give it a different mask, it's, it's typing changes. So it can become either Grass Rock, Grass Fire, or Grass Water. Depending on the mask that you give it. It's cool. I like Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's dope. It's a cool Mon. Mike, stop. Not seeing it. Probably just keep resetting a couple of times. <laughs> Have fun, buddy. Have fun. Have fun, my dude. Best of luck with the Overwatch. How's it going? How's work? I'm sorry to hear that you're gonna play some Overwatch. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Dude, I, I was playing earlier, uh, and I hit the nastiest sleep on Adventure. It was so sick, dude. I hit the nastiest sleep on Adventure. They did like their burrow thing where they like pop out of the ground to try and like dive me, and as they did, I just fired a sleep dart and got them point blank. Even they wrote in chat, they were like, damn, nice sleep. <laughs> I was like, yeah, thank you. Let's talk about amazing shinies like Hisuian Zorak. One of my favorite shinies of all time, truthfully. One of my favorites, not gonna lie. Very, very good shiny. I have a shiny iron bundle and brute bonnet. Solid, both good shinies. Both very good shinies. I saw a tweet saying Overwatch 2 is literally made by the worst people. I mean, you aren't wrong. Like whoever made that tweet is not a wrong is not wrong. It is a not a, not a not made by great people. At least like allegedly most of the the bad people are gone. Allegedly. But still. Cough cough you should stream Overwatch sometime soon. Cough. Um It's a PG stream. And let's just say uh I don't think I'd be able to keep it PG if I played Overwatch. I don't think I'd be able to. If you ever, guys, ever really want to see Kai, like, lose it, they, I'll have me play Overwatch on stream. I will lose it. Because I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. 
I'm back, so from from McDonald's. Hey, good stuff. Welcome back. John sees and begins playing. I shall use Dark Pulse and Blast Spark. Was it equal bad? Facts. Facts. For 400 subs, play Overwatch. I think I'm good. I don't really want to. I think I'm okay. Kai, you can stream Overwatch on my channel under a different alias. Oh god. Well, my BNet name is still Kai Guy though, so I don't know if I really want to be doing that. <laughs> My Bina is still Kai Guy, so I don't I don't think uh, that would be the smartest decision I would make. If you do end up streaming P Pal, then make sure to enable the censorship because cough family friendly. What's Pal F? What is that? Is that like the the sim that you sent me and gifted? Kai Anger be the last thing I'd expect. Uh, it takes a lot for me to get angry at games, but Overwatch gets me there. It, it, I, it truthfully does take a lot for me to get angry at games, but Overwatch will get me there. Overwatch Kai. <laughs> Shiny Hunter Kai. Yeah, Shiny Hunter Kai and Overwatch Kai are like base. Like I, like I honestly believe those are two different halves within me. Like, Overwatch Kai is very much like a... Not the most pleasant person. But Shiny Hunter Kai is just happy to be here. Happy to vibe around, play some games. Shiny Hunter Kai is having a good time. You can play my account. Be <laughs> Wait, why is that like hardest alt tag I've ever heard in my life? It is the game you sent me? Oh, okay, okay. I'll be back in about 10 minutes. No worries. Appreciate you hanging out. See you in a bit. I play Overwatch with him a lot, he can get a little angy. Yeah, well, you know. That game do make me angy. That game do indeed make me angy. I will, <laughs> there are quite a few times where when we're, we're playing Overwatch and I get mad because he doesn't, he leaves the game too quick because it just didn't go well or whatever. Meanwhile, I'm like trying to like type something to our teammates to like like flame them or something i was like god you don't me flame our teammates come on man yeah that game uh that game grinds my you know what really grinds my gears overwatch pokemon unite pokemon night makes you mad i haven't played it myself but i could definitely see how something like that would make would make people mad yo what's up is it psychopato how's it going or Psychopato, Psychopato, I'm not sure which. Welcome to the stream, how you doing? Hello to you as well, how you doing? Blizzard's evil, bunch of hypocrites trying to promote inclusivity and goodwill actually being evil. I mean, you ain't wrong, fam. You ain't wrong. I feel bad for some of the people who are actively trying to make, like, an inclusive environment and, like, promoting inclusivity in their games and everything. But, like, the higher-ups there, man, are just, like, such garbage humans. Like, I actually feel bad for, like, the people trying to promote that inclusivity, and then other times people are just like, eh, screw you. I care about money and nothing else. Be honest, do you laugh when children fall over? No. Definitely not. I laugh when people I know fall over. I laugh when people I know fall over, That that's for sure. Like, <laughs> she might get mad that I'm telling this story on stream, but oh well. Uh, so there was this one time where, uh, my mom, my dad, my aunt, and my uncle went out on my uncle's boat together, and, uh, they were, like, backing it up up the boat ramp, like, after their trip and everything, and there was, like, a little ladder hanging off the side of the boat that you're supposed to, like, climb down to, like, get back onto the pavement, and my mother is not the most graceful person in the world. I think she'd be the first person to admit that. Um, but she decided that she was just, instead of climbing down the ladder, she decided she was just going to hop down. She was going to hop off the boat, land on the parking lot below and be fine. She face plants into the parking lot 
like jumping off of a boat, face planting into the concrete parking lot. And immediately her first words out of her mouth were call <laughs> call 911. Like ye like yelling to my 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 dad to call 911 because she it hurt herself. They, spoiler alert, they didn't call 911. Um she was fine. But uh they get home and they are explaining the situation to us. And they're, they're like, yeah, she fell, and my mom comes in, and she's like, I'm in so much pain, it hurts so bad. And she's got, like, a mark on her, like, forehead or nose or whatever. Um, and so I'm in, I'm in, like, the living room with my sister. And <laughs> they're, like, explaining it to us, and the whole time we're just like, oh, my God, that, I, I'm glad you're okay and everything. And then, like, they walk away to, like, go get her some ice or something. And no joke, like like clockwork it was i swear it was simultaneous my sister and i turned to each other and we both like start like hyperventilating trying not to laugh so like that i find funny when people i know fall down but are okay that's funny but no i do not think that people just falling down is funny no i do not laugh at children falling over but my mom falling off a boat that is some funny stuff right there Yeah, Blizzard's evil bunch- I already read that, yeah. I agree, Mike. Anyway, enough of that tangent. That's my PS handle, I love that, dude. Game is battling and catching Pokemon? Oh, that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope that you can do that, too. Overwatch Kai and shiny hunting. Yo, why is the shiny not showing up after five minutes? Um... See, I don't- I, I don't get angry about that. Like, shiny hunting, I'm just kind of here. I'm vibing. I'm feeling good. Playing a game I mostly like. Mmm, sort of like. So, it helps. Whereas, like, Overwatch, like, the game just makes me mad. The community's toxic. The game's made by evil people. Like, evil hypocrites, like Mike was saying. Like, it's just, like, they're, like, night and day. Whereas, like, this is therapeutic, relaxing. I'm just catching a bunch of little critters. I'm having a good time. Vibing with chat. So. I heard a rumor that you, Kyler Geiler, is voice acting for Honkai Star Rail. Is that statement truthful or are my sources wrong? I apologize, but I think your sources may be mistaken. I believe your sources may be mistaken. I may have completely deconfirmed that I am not going to be voicing the next character in Honkai Star Rail. I'm sorry to disappoint, but uh, I am not voicing the uh, a character in Honkai Star Rail. I apologize in advance. That your sources have uh, misled you down this path. As soon as you said mob, I knew where this was going. Yeah, you know. <laughs> what was <laughs> what? What <laughs> the <laughs> She fell when she <laughs> was when when you and Kira were learning to roller skate, and I was like, she wanted to try. And, like, I turned around to, like, help you and Dad with something as, like, Kira was helping Mom get the skates on. And Mom stood up and within two seconds fell over and was on the ground. Oh, God. And Kira saw the whole thing and got on video, but she felt so bad she deleted it. Oh, Carson, I would have been, I would have given up my entire bank account to have seen that. I love my mom to pieces, but, God, it, it is funny when she falls. I'm sorry. It is, it is so funny when she falls. I laugh at myself while I go over often, but never others. I, I don't until I know they're okay. Like if right, if like I was like in the hallway at school and like a student tripped and hurt themselves, I would be like, oh my God, are you okay? And if they were fine, I'd be like, all right, good. And then I would go to my room and then I'd probably just laugh to myself a little bit like, oh my God, <laughs> they fell in the hallway. T. It's oh, it's funny if they're okay. If they're like actually hurt, no, I'm not gonna laugh. Absolutely not. I would not do that. I'm not that kind of guy. Petition for Kai to shiny hunt Sunkern. Why is that what y'all want to petition? Of all things, Sunkern. Why Sunkern, man? I'll sign. Why do you guys want me to hunt Sunkern? One of the most mid shiny Pokemon of all time. Guys, let's sign a petition. Make him hunt it. You could just. Like, that's what we want to go with, fam? Like, don't get me wrong, Sunther, Sunkern's fine, but, like, it's not a good shiny. Kyle's Kyle, Kai is Kyle McCarley, no doubt. Who's Kyle McCarley? I actually don't know who that is. I would recommend the game entitled Honkai Star Rail. It is sure is a very good game. In fact, I started playing because my friend recommended it to me. Oh, sick. 
I, I've also had it recommended to me by a few people as well. I have not played it though, and unfortunately I am not voicing a character in it. At the moment. At least, not that I'm aware of. Unless they're using my voice without crediting me. In which case, Honkai Star Rail, we're gonna have to have a talk. We want you to suffer. Thanks. Thanks, Gifted. Good to know my chat's got my back, guys. Good to know my chat has got my back, guys. Appreciate that. I don't laugh when they are wailing in her, but I laugh when they are okay. I have some rules. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I'm not... If, like, somebody is, like, in pain, like, they've clearly broken a bone, they've clearly injured themselves, that is not funny. That is not funny at all. If somebody just, like, falls and, like, face plants but gets it up immediately, that is funny as hell. I'm sorry. I, I will... I will fully accept that I might not be the, uh... Uh, the most morally <laughs> sound person when it comes to laughing at others, but, like, I do not laugh when people are in genuine pain. I'm very much empathetic. But it, I'm, I will say, I'm an empath, but it is freaking funny when people fall and are okay. Pomas propaganda? What's Pomas? Yo, what's up, Bernardo? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Heard that there's a fine gentleman here talking about Honkai Star Rail. May we discuss the lore anytime soon? I mean, you can discuss it as much as you want. Like, I just, uh... I don't, I don't know any of it. Like, I don't know how the game works. I don't know the, the story, the lore, the characters, anything like that. Like, feel free to discuss it. Like, I just, I won't be able to contribute much to that conversation, I'm afraid. Some jackass gets there pretty good. There, I used to, I used to watch it a little bit. I used to watch it a little bit. I petition a pink shine to be next because real men wear pink. I mean, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong, Arsel. When you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. I do like a lot of pink shiny Pokemon, too. Like, there's some really good ones. We could do Cantonian Wooper, or Jotonian Wooper, I should say. That might be one we could do eventually. I'm pretty sure that's a pink shiny, I want to say. Pomas is Pokemon Masters. I guess I'm not up on the lingo, I suppose. Epilogue, Magalore, and Kirby's Return to Dreamland looks depressed. What? Wait, what? <laughs> yes, in fact, I am you. I'm going insane. Are you like this? I'm confused here. Regarding falling, I often get overly worried even if they are okay. That's fair. I get that. I get that. Unless I can, like, very clearly tell that they have no injuries or anything, then I'm going to be like, alright, well, maybe we should, like, either go see a nurse or see a doctor or whatever. But, I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, if people are okay, I'm a bit more lenient with the laughter. But, even then, I'm still, I have to make sure they're, like, like, if they even have, like, a scrape, I'm going to be like, alright, well, let's go get us looked at, like, that kind of thing. Like, I used to work with little kids, so I'm used to kids falling down. Um, so that kind of probably also helps me not think children falling down is funny. Because the amount of times we would have, like, four-year-olds fall and, like, scrape their knee, I need to go get them an ice pack or something, is very high. It was very high. I think the play might be to hunt up here, because I feel like I'm getting more spawns up here. If I can even. Depends on the kid. There were a couple that I honestly think just wanted ice packs for attention, but, like, it's not my, my place to say, I suppose. Not my place, I suppose. Honkai Star Rail is a fantasy RPG. Hold on, let me get, let me get my narrator voice going. <clears throat> Honkai Star Rail is a fantasy RPG made by Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact. It's a free-to-play cross-platform RPG available right now on both PC and mobile and coming soon to PlayStation. I don't care about clarity of injury, I just get worried. I mean, I get that. That's fair. That's fair. It's like when certain people have the knee brace for attention in high school. I didn't have any of those. I had I had to wear a walking boot because I had stress fracture and tendonitis. 
So I had to wear a boot for like a couple of months while that healed. Are you shiny, bud? Nah, you ain't shiny. Hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> no, no sponsor here, guys. No sponsor, and I am not voicing the character. I'm sorry to disappoint. I'm changing accounts because I have nothing to do. Okay. Not sponsored, true. The makers of Genshin Impact? Yo, true. Yikes. Kai sold his soul for free right there. Stomps a little bit. I mean, I don't think they would use my free advertising when they've got, I'm sure, a bunch of streamers in their pocket. I don't think they need my free advertisement. I've never even played the game, so I don't even know if I'm even giving them a uh, free advertisement or not. Oh, hey, Sable, I didn't even see you there, buddy. Definitely didn't copy-paste Jimmy Here's ad script for Sokka Star Rail. Uh, that's actually really funny. I'm not even gonna lie. Whoa, interesting. USA celebrating Native Americans Day apparently really today. They've got tablecloths in the dining hall. Oh, that's neat. Are you all aware of such a celebration on National Day? Uh, I knew there was one. I didn't know it was today, though. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. I did not know that was a thing today. That's kind of neat that they're doing that. I think that's really neat. Oh, please no. I don't want to fight you, Sableye. Am I good here? Can I, can I go right here? Alright, fine. I'll make a picnic down here then. I didn't want to make a picnic there anyway. The very good about theme inclusivity. I like it. Good. That's awesome. My school's usually uh, pretty good about it too, thankfully. <clears throat> I want to be the very best, like, oh, I misspelled like <laughs> what? We had a denim day at our middle school? That sounds pretty cool. Is it like you dress up in as much, I'm guessing you dress up in as much denim as possible? Kai is going to sing Bling Bang Bang Born when he hits 400 subs, trust? I don't even know what that song is. Like, at that point, you're just speaking gibberish to me. I've never even heard of that. Yes, he is. Uh, Y'all can think what you want. I, I hate to disappoint, but... What do you want, huh? What? What? Oh, boy. Is somebody needing attention? No. You don't want to stay up here? No? You're not in the mood? Oh, well, this tells me otherwise. Oh, my goodness. This tells me otherwise. What did you want, huh? Okay, bye. All the small things. Truth care. Truth brings true. I'm picking up the Blink-182. Always I know you'll be at my show. She left me roses by the stairs. Surprises let me know she cares. Say it ain't so, I will not go. Turn the lights off, carry me home. What am I doing? I meant to click picnic. Make the cat shiny hunt for you? I wish I could teach my cat how to shiny hunt, man. I would, I would never stream again. Plus, I think I'd get more views. <laughs> A shiny hunting cat? People would eat that up, wait. People would eat that up. I was afraid you don't know. Ah, oh, don't worry. I got that down. I got that down, Pat. I promise. How much time we got in the sandwich? Seven minutes left. This might end up being a reset, y'all. Here is an acronym. Solve it. I D W T G. I have no what? I don't want to go to. I don't want to go to school during which I don't care school. Did I get it? Did I get it? I think I nailed it, guys. I think I nailed it. Like, straight up just nailed it. Or <laughs> so with the dabs. I like it. I don't want to go to school for the first few layers. Yeah, I think you're probably right on the money with that, Dorothy. 
I don't want to go to school, Dad. Well, I don't care. Stupid is the answer. Okay. Well, then. <laughs> School's important. You gotta stay in school. I mean, kind of biased. I'm a teacher, but still. Just a wee bit biased. Just a wee bit biased. It's important. It's very helpful when you get older. Trust. You heard it right here first. Take it from me, your favorite Pokemon tuber. Kai is going to enter the Fortnite skins shop when he hits 400 subs. No. I will say, I, I, morals go out, I, okay, I'm going to be honest. Morals go out the window if Fortnite is like, hey, we want to put you in Fortnite. It's like, yeah, I'm going to do that. <laughs> morals go out the window. Like, I'm, I'm, like, straight up morals go out the window for that. I would absolutely, if they contacted me. Little old me, I'd be like, yeah, where do I sign? I'll do that for free, I don't care. That'd be hilarious, man. Being smart is good and stuff, this guy gets it. Take it from your favorite YouTube duck, Mr. Donker Dank. Reading Rainbow Thing Place, the more you know. Just a wee bit, and it Sometimes I just randomly go British, and I don't know why. Uh, Sometimes I just randomly break into a British accent and I truthfully don't know why. It is one of my many quirks, I suppose. Oh god, Joe and I cannot play in Fortnite with normal people. We played with Brother D Will and we were stammering for words. <laughs> Yo, D Will, my goat. That's my goat. That is my king. I love D Will. Good guy. Good guy. He's a, that is a funny dude. He's a very funny dude. Kai has become next president of the USA when he hits 400 subs. Who told you? That's supposed to be secret, guys. Oh my gosh. I don't want that responsibility, man. Screw that. There is not enough money in the world to make me run for president. I, I, for one thing, I'm not even old enough. But for another thing, I no thank you. Like, absolutely not. I would, I would hate that. I don't want that kind of responsibility. I'm perfectly content just being a teacher and playing Pokemon, uh, playing YouTube. Yes. All the things I just said. Yes. I'm perfectly content teaching and playing Pokemon on YouTube. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that. Yes, he is. All right. Well, now we're just speaking propaganda at this point. <laughs> You're back. Welcome back. I do accent switches all the time. I think it's like the acting classes in me. I think it's the acting classes in me, honestly. I'm just randomly, I'm like, doing like funny characters or whatever. Or like improv and stuff. I think that's honestly where it stems from. I truthfully believe that is where it is. He can't be present. Kai isn't corrupt or evil. I am the other hand. Yo, Donker Deck 2024. Where do I, I'll be your running, how about this? You run, I'll be your running mate. <laughs> I'll be your campaign manager. I'll be your campaign manager. That sounds good. Well, that is true. So he means he would be a good president. He'd be the best president. No. No, I'm okay. okay I'll become the next post Pokemon villain when he hits 400 subs. See, that would be fun. Like, I'd love to be like being the villain is fun. I always said if I ever got on like a reality show, like a like a like a Survivor, or like a like a Big Brother, I would love to be the villain. I don't want to win. I mean, like, yeah, I want to win, but like, I I know, like, it's script. Lots of it is scripted or whatever. But like, I would love to like play the villain and like kind of like manipulate the the stuff from behind the scenes. It would just be so fun. Like, it's just fun to, like, do that kind of stuff. Because, like, obviously I'm not doing it for real. It's a reality show. Like, it doesn't mean anything. But I just want to play, like, a villainous character. Like, playing villains is way more fun than playing heroes. Like, it's just way more fun to be the villain. 
Gosh, I love being creative. Same. Nah, you don't like being creative? What? If it ain't shiny, I ain't catching it. Some guy? Probably. Probably. Why? Because it's fun. It is fun to play the villain. Everybody loves a good villain. Everybody loves a good villain. Like, honestly, a good villain carries a story more than a good hero does, in my opinion. Because, like, you need to, like... Like, I, like some of y'all know, I love, love, like, wrestling. Like, WWE and all that. And, like, a lot of the time, the the the, the wrestlers, the men and women that I, I, I like the most are the villains. Because, like, they need, they need to, like, make you hate them. Like, a good villain is, like... It's so it's so hard to make it's not very difficult to make people want to be like yeah you got this but it is very hard to make people hate you and like I think that people who like do that kind of performance and stuff playing those characters is just so interesting to me like I thought I think it'd be so fun to just get under the crowd skin or get under the other wrestlers skin or whatever and same with like like I said it was a reality show like get under the other contestant skin stir the pot a little bit like that would be so fun in my opinion. So fun. Kai is the chaos, Kai is destruction, Kai is bad to the bone. Uh, I don't know if I'd go all that far. I wouldn't say I'm bad to the bone, really. Pokemon Bowl with only turtles at 400 subs? Why only turtles? I have played some roles in Skull Plays, but none were not cute or not pretty. Uh, <laughs> I gotcha. And there's a reason why Cartman is such a fun character. He's okay with being evil. Yeah, like, Cartman's a detestable, vile human being, but, like, he it, it's fun to see, like, evil characters get their comeuppance. Like, a good villain getting their comeuppance, like, the hero overcoming the odds and everything, you need the good villain to do that. That's what I'm saying. Goldilocks, Baby Bear, The Little Mermaid, Alana, Ariel's Sister, The Ugly Duckling, A Bully Duck, and A Welcoming Swan. It's a good list of roles. Yo, what's up, Murph? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. WWE Attitude Area, the Attitude Area goes hard. Murder of Innocent People is a good way to make someone hate you. Okay, see, but that looks, like, too far. I don't want to, like, hurt people. I just want to stir the pot and be like, you are... you're... Look, you're not going to believe what Cindy said, but she said that Tom is, like, so yesterday. And then Janice, Janice, oh my god, she was talking so much crap about Sean. You aren't going to believe this, man. I, we got to get rid of her ASAP. Like, that's, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Like, that's fun. Like, stirring the pot... Getting inside people's heads. That part's fun. But like hurting others like physically? No, nah, I ain't about that life, Chief. Sorry I'm two hours late. I fell asleep. You're good. It's all good. It's all good. I don't know why I keep getting those roles. Almost always pure characters with a feisty attitude. I mean... If you, if you work on them well, though. If you're good at them, you're good at them, I suppose. Tortle? What about tortles? Not every character needs to be a picture perfect, zero problematic character. You can make them messed up, makes it really cool. Yeah, like character flaws are a thing. Exactly. Exactly. One thousand percent. Like a good character should not be like perfect in every way. Like that's just boring. Like a good character should be well written. A good character should be like this. Like it should be well written, but also not be like a perfect character. Like they, they need to have like a character flaw. They need to have conflict they need to have trials that they have to overcome they need to have like something in their backstory like an inciting moment that makes them who they are like that kind of thing otherwise if it's just like i am perfect and i am the best and good at everything and i am the hero of the universe like nobody's gonna like that character that, that nobody likes superman nobody likes nobody's favorite superhero is superman like that's superman nobody cares nobody's favorite superhero is superman anyway um should we do dragon this time Let's try some avocado out. It's an avocado. Thanks. When the rock called Hulk Hogan, Rudy 2D fresh and fruity. <laughs> uh, throw back. I feed on fear and pancakes. When did I say that? I'm gonna tell Jennifer now. Not Jennifer, man. Not Jennifer. Like Tony Soprano. <laughs> Wait a second about Superman. That's different. Superman's boring. Superman is vanilla ice cream. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's nobody's favorite. 
There is nothing wrong with it, but it's nobody's favorite. It's a good ice cream. It's a good superhero. It's not the best, and it's not anybody's favorite. Like, why would Superman be your favorite superhero when Batman's right there, when The Flash is right there? I'm just talking DC. Like, come on, man. Come on, man. My dad likes Superman and also stir up chaos in my roles. I'm the one that exposes Goliath for being in the bear's house. Ooh, got him. Like, yeah, I like Superman. Like, Superman's fine. Henry Cavill's a massive nerd, so he's got respect in my book. But... is boring. Superman's superpower is I am the strongest and I am the best. Like, that's it. That's boring. That's so boring. What about a villain who's a Joe film throughout the story until he reaches a breaking point and starts to go insane? Like a Mega Mind? Like a Mega Mind kind of thing? Wait a sec about vanilla? What do you mean? Vanilla is not the best ice cream flavor. I'm sorry, Chief. It's just not. Like, it's fine if you like it. Like, yeah, I get it. I like vanilla ice cream, but like, I'm not gonna go out of my way to order vanilla ice cream. Like, if I'm at an ice cream shop, I'm gonna get something good. I'm gonna get something with like, like stuff in it. I'm not just gonna get like a, can I get a small vanilla, co vanilla cone, please? No. You did air vanilla. What do you mean vanilla best flavor? No. No, 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 no. I won I vehemently disagree with that statement. I I am not I like vanilla ice cream, but it's not the best ice cream, man. It's better than chocolate ice cream, I'll give you that. Like I I, I it's just it's good. It's very good. It's just not the best flavor of ice cream. Your future is hazy. I'm gonna not say what I was about to say. <laughs> because I don't wanna. <laughs> I'm gonna interrupt the age rating on the stream if I say what I want to say. Let me stop. Let me stop. It's coming from a guy that Batman and Robin are his favorite. You need a Superman or Captain America? Like a morally perfect guy to react up to the messy amoral world? No, I don't, I don't disagree with that statement. I don't disagree. Like, yeah, Superman's cool. Captain America's cool, but like the moral, the morally great characters are the best ones. They're the best ones. Something like a Scarlet Witch, something like a like a like a Deadpool, even something like Spider-Man to a degree, or like a Batman. Like those are the most interesting of the characters, in my opinion. Like, don't be wrong, I love Captain America. I like Superman. Chris Evans is phenomenal, and Henry Cavill seems cool. But, I don't know. They're just not my, like, my go-tos. Passion fruit ice cream is so good. I've never had it, but it sounds good. Uh, Superman has laser eyes and can fly. And actually, I don't know, but he's allergic to a green rock. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, Superman's power is, um, actually, I can do this, and also this, and also this, and also, like... Like, Buddy's like, I have all the... Like, it's like the one kid on the playground... Who, uh, you ask him, like, alright, we're all gonna play superpowers. What's your superpower? I can fly! I can breathe underwater. Uh, uh, my superpower is, is I'm the best and the strongest and I'm, I'm better than everybody. Like, nobody wants to play with that kid. <laughs> nobody wants to play with that kid. Cookies and cream here? I can respect that. I can respect that choice. My favorite's uh, mint cookies and cream. Like a little bit of mint cookies and cream. So good. Basically anything mint, I'm gonna like it. Peppermint ice cream is really good. Actual like mint chocolate chip, mint Oreo, um, anything like that. It's super solid. Captain America is great. IMO, yeah, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. Captain America is awesome. I love Chris Evans. When I had a Twitter account, Twitter, um, Chris Evans was one of the few people I followed <laughs> because I love him. Man just seems like a good dude. But, I don't know. Just, I, I get why you need that, like, that, like, um, what's it called? That, like, that, like, morally sound, like, completely morally sound, no, do no wrong character. But, like, eh, I don't know. I guess I go over to, like, Robin more than Bats. Robin's cool. Robin's cool. I like Nightwing. That one's cool. Scarlet Witch is good because she's hot and stuff. <laughs> and a mutant. I mean, I was going to say it, but Elizabeth Olsen, though? Whoo! Sheesh! 
Elizabeth Olsen is absolutely gorgeous. Bro picked all super. That's what I'm saying. Like, like nobody wants to play with the kid who, when asked, like, all right, we're going to play superpowers. What's yours? I'm the best. Okay, what's your power? It's just that I'm better than you. <laughs> like, nobody's going to be like, okay, well, I'm not going to, I'm not, we're not playing with, with little Timmy anymore. Back, did you catch any more shinies? Uh, yeah, we got a shiny Gligar. So we have a Gligar and a uh, Shroomish so far. Strawberry is my favorite. I respect that. I like fruit in my ice cream. I'm a, I like black raspberry. I like black cherry. Very, very good. Mint is good too. Mint's fire. I love me some mint ice cream. So good. Imagine Superman, I am Rayquaza. <laughs> now I'm picturing Superman, or Rayquaza dressed up in like Superman's outfit. And that's all I can think of now. I like Daredevil. He's one hell of a lawyer. Yeah, Daredevil's cool. Like I can, again, I get, I can get behind that. Daredevil's sick. I believe that one division in Frozen music is written by the same people. I actually didn't know that. That's actually so cool. I did not know that. That's really cool. Superman gets hit with a pretend thing, but says, "But I have a force field up, so you didn't." Hit me. That's what I'm saying. Like that's boring. Like, like he's just like, "Nope, I'm, I'm better, so I win." Like Superman is the definition of "Nah, I'd win." Like Superman is literally just the definition of "Nah, I'd win." Let's play family. That one kid. I want to be half demon, half angel. What the heck? It's like when you're like, all right, we're all going to pick our starter Pokemon. I want Bulbasaur. I want Charmander. I want Pikachu. I want Arceus. But Arceus is... I want Arceus. But he's not a starter. You can't just have... I want God. Like, again, they're going to kick little little Timmy out of the, out of the friendship circle. Make a full shiny team and battle me with it. Uh, I've already, I've already got plans to do that with uh, my buddy, my buddy Joe. But I think I have enough to build one. I, I have two hundred. I gotta have enough to build. Let me do some quick math. 30, 31, 32. I have enough to build thirty-four teams worth. Maybe sometime. We'll see. I have a pick with Charlie Cox and Vincent. Dino Fira? I actually don't know who I... I'm so bad with actor names. So I don't know who either of them are. <laughs> but cool! Hey, Joe. How you doing, buddy? Welcome. How's it going, my dude? Kai is my Superman. I don't know if I like being called your Superman. I don't know if I want to be a Superman. But thanks, man. If I go right and will who ha ha who who come on. I choose the creator like yeah, like nobody's gonna wanna play with them. Like, I'm the boss of all of you. Okay. Uh anyway, we're gonna go we're gonna go down the slide. You have fun with that. The best superhero is Iron Man because he's the power of money. Iron Man's cool. I just like RDJ. RDJ's cool. I'm definitely a Spider-Man guy, though. Spider-Man is my favorite since I was a kid. Is it just me, or, or is Magalore hell underrated? Magalore is cool. No one man should have all that power. Okay. He's so cute. Magalore is cool. He becomes, like, nightmare fuel later on, but he's cool. They Daredevil and Kingpin? Who is? Be back in ten minutes? No worries. No worries at all. Superman Arceus pairing would be really interesting as a story. Giratina confronts Arceus for banishing him. But, like... Uh, uh, it's just taking two of the most powerful beings in their separate universes and putting them together. Like, uh, I don't like that kind of stuff. Like, that stuff's so boring to me. It's so boring to me. Like, I don't like when they're just like, oh, yeah, we've got the two strongest characters here, and they're going to do a team-up and crossover. It's like, okay, but what about, like, the side characters? Can we get some of that? No? Okay. Yo, Viridian, welcome back. What if Gira and Lex win? I mean... That might be a bit more interesting. I don't know. I'm just not really into, like, that kind of 
stuff, I suppose. Like the the OP for the sake of being OP characters. I want Charmander, I want Squirtle. Hubert Bartholomew Stir Fry Chicken Soup. Are you just reading off of like a, a Chinese takeout menu or something? I want the Almighty Creator. Very nice. Feel bad for Magalore, he lost his powers in the epilogue? Does he? I actually don't even know. What Pokemon is the scariest backstory in your opinion? Um, Shedinja, probably. Shedinja or Phantom? Because Shedinja, um, it steals the life force of people who look at its back, and like, when you catch one, all you see is its back sprite. So, while you're playing with a Shedinja, like, using it in battle, it's stealing your life force. And then Rayquaza, and then, uh, Phantom is just, like, a kid who got lost in the forest and died. Like, canonically. <laughs> so, like, one of those two, I would say. The actors who played Daredevil weren't good. I thought that people liked the new guy. Didn't people like the new guy, or am I tripping? I thought people liked the new guy. Superman matched with Rayquaza thinking they're the strongest, and they get pummeled by Dialga in the Spruce. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, Superman! Epilogue, he has an attack that looks like Kamehameha. I don't know how to spell it. Uh, neither do I, I'm not gonna lie. Scariest Pokemon backstory is Ash's Goomy because his village got destroyed. Uh, I don't remember the Pokemon X and Y anime. I think I've seen it once. Catch a Digi before Scarlet and Violet start, and that's why the game feels so lifeless. <laughs> and there's our, we got our quota. We got our quota of bashing Scarlet and Violet for the stream from Jurt YT. Thank you. I mean, they're awesome. Yeah! Hypno scary? Hypno is creepy. Like, the, the one with it, like, luring its children away. That kind of thing. That one I thought was pretty creepy as a kid. <laughs> the sunglasses emoji. I dig it. Play Hypno's Lullaby? Eh, it's so short. Like, I finished it in like 20 minutes. It's not even scary. I don't really get scared at video games. Like, it takes a lot. It takes a lot for me to get scared at a game. I think it's only relatively really happened like once or twice. Same with like horror movies and stuff. Like, I really don't get scared at them often. It's gotta be something that really gets me. Which shiny Pokemon you got so far? Uh, you'll be happy about this. We got Onion the Shroomish, so you'll be happy about that one. And there's Tim the Gligar. <laughs> Those are our two we've gotten so far. We've been hunting a dino for the last little while. We're getting some decent spawns down here. That's good. So just two at the moment, but not too bad. Didn't go look at the Shedinja's anime in the back for a few seconds? Uh, I don't know. I haven't watched all of Journey, so I don't know. I've only seen, like, the ending because of the Masters 8. Ugh. Wait, you're getting pretty good shinies of cool Pokemon? Crazy. <laughs> I've got some good ones today. Shroomish is solid. Gligar is a solid. Dinos is solid. Well, we haven't gotten Dinos yet, but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying, though. Imagine if Batman has super, has Darkrai and Superman has Arceus, but Darkrai throws Superman into a nightmare that makes him get rid of Arceus as a partner. Batman and Darkrai versus Superman. It could be interesting, I suppose. Jert, they added the weekend back, the weekend pack and emote in the Fortnite shop again. What emote is that? I've never heard of that emote. I actually don't know what that is. Mimikyu said something bad in Sun and Moon. I don't know what you're referring to but okay why is the kirby on my main menu green i don't have other players playing with me maybe just switches i don't know donker def got it right <laughs> i would assume so just based on it sounds like a meme emote so i'm sure i'm sure he's gonna get it might as well man for the lulls. I'll get it tomorrow when I get paid. True. Oh, I also get paid tomorrow. Let's go. Money, 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 money. 
Let's go. I do. I still have to standardize test tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to it. I really don't want to. We're almost done at least. I have tomorrow and Friday, and then I'm going to be in Chicago. Go with the white suit and guitar. Sounds like the uh, dude from Coco. You make me un poco loco. Kai got Peter Griffin to do the gritty, the dab, the numa numa, and some other stupid stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Fortnite is, 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 we, Fortnite is certainly a game, guys. It is certainly a game. It is certainly one of the games of all time. I have a fun idea in the Jedi Order, the Swords of Justice under the Temple, Curious Creatures, huh? <laughs> I feel like if the Sword of Justice existed in the Star Wars universe, they would be Jedi's. They can then they do something unthinkable and begin fighting over Poke over the Pokemon. Soon chaos ensues within the Order and the Sith for the heroes. Ah, uh, I don't know if I follow. I might. I don't know if I follow there. I'm not gonna lie. Three subs away from your turtle only playthrough. I'm not doing a turtle only playthrough. Fortnite is like Smash Bros, but it has more characters. Yeah, but they all do the same thing. They all pick up gun and shoot it. I wonder if these are reset when I go up here. Let's see. Do they? Do they reset down there? Let me give these guys a couple of seconds up here. Mmm, they might be resetting? Maybe? It's hard to tell. I was going to say, that takes some time off that I have to do picnic resets. But if they don't respawn, there's no point. I think I'll just keep doing picnics. Like, it takes a little bit longer, but whatevs. So they catch Arceus and Jedi have to use their teamwork and strength to defeat the evil and reclaim Arceus to guide and assist them on their journey. Alright. Fortnite over Smash Bros, right? No. 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 Oh, heck not? Yeah, no. Nah. Both games we yell the same six letter words, though? Oh my god. Fortnite totally better than Smash and Distortion World? That's true. Now that is true. That I can get behind. Fortnite's definitely an ambitious game. Like, don't get me wrong. It's definitely one of the most ambitious games I've ever seen. But ambitious doesn't always equal good. And, don't, and, and like, don't get me wrong. I don't think Fortnite's a bad game or anything. Like, I don't think it is at all. It's just not for me. I'm not a big... Um, not really big into, like, that kind of genre. Like, the Battle Royales and whatever. Not my thing. I get why people like it. Not for me, though. I'd rather be playing RPGs. Much rather play RPGs than Battle Royales. Personally. Ford had one more Peter Griffin in the weekend. <laughs> in the weekend than <laughs> Smash. Smash has what? Sora? Sa Mario? Saying is good, though? Yeah, Mario and Sora. Two of, like, the most beloved gaming characters of all time. Fortnite will never be better? Nah, I don't think it will be, but it's funny to meme. It's funny to meme. Smash has a lot of love in it. Fortnite's a cash grab. Like, Smash it, you can definitely tell that there was love put into it. Nah, I don't think Fortnite will ever top. Like, it, it might make more money than Smash, but, like, Smash is just a more well-designed game overall, IMO. Kirby is the bane of my existence. I hate that pink little guy. 
I I don't usually have, I have like one of my students who plays Kirby and like usually I just edge guard him and it's kind of free because if you just get rid of his jumps he can't really come back so that usually helps me at least Peter Griffin is so compelling though is it though I don't know I don't think I I think I don't think I really need Peter Griffin in my video games. If I wanted Peter Griffin in my video games, I could go I could go play the Family Guy video game on PS2. I live Pokemon for real for real. I play other games, but I do I think Pokemon's the game I probably put the most hours into, or the franchise I probably put the most hours into during my life. The only thing that probably comes close is Mario and maybe Xenoblade. Because I have an absurd amount of hours on Xenoblade. <laughs> So, I would love to have Peter Griffin and Goku in my Smash tournament. I don't know if I would. That just seems like not fun. Plus, it would never happen. They're not video game characters first, which is like what Smash is. Smash is video game characters first. So, they're not going to put like Goku. They're not going to put like Naruto, Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin is an overrated meme. Yeah, it kind of is. My wife only plays Kirby, my brother too. I'd hate it if I could have... <laughs> I don't think it Kirby's that annoying. Like, I don't have any issues with it. Kirby's fine. I imagine if it was all somebody played, then yeah. Hey, Lois, I'm in Smash Bros. <laughs> Pretty sure somebody made a stage, like in stage below, that's just Peter's face with that. I still have your friend code in my photos. Okay. Cool. Weird flex, but okay. When you say that, it sounds like you're stalking me, but alright. Again, weird flex, but okay. New Smash characters leaked. Waluigi, Peter Griffin, and Goku. <laughs> the only one of those even has a chance is Waluigi. If Goku ever got into a real mainline Smash game, I would eat my left toe. I'll let chat pick which one. I controlled Smash. I put in CJ and Arthur Morgan. I don't know who they are. Freaking, you're an overrated meme. It's just, it's everywhere. The Peter Griffin meme is everywhere. Like, it's just like, eh, what if? It's just everywhere. Like, it's, it, I don't find, like, I get why people find it funny. I don't know. It's just, I don't find it funny. Like, to me, the Peter stuff is just like, oh, whatever. Your left toe is gone now. Well, it hasn't been announced yet, so I think my left toe lives for now. That'd be true if it was a meme. You're insulting me yet somehow failing. I don't know. I just don't think it's a good meme either. I think it's whatever. It's a whatever meme. How do you know all the Smash characters but not CJ from Rogue Street? I don't know who that is. What game are they from? Mario Kart better than Smash? Um, Depends on the Mario Kart, maybe. Family Guy is so funny, it circles back to being the funniest thing ever, IMO. I used to unironically like Family, now anytime I see a clip of it, I'm just like, this is just isn't funny. Like, it's not even unironically funny. Or, I mean, ironically funny. Like, I don't even get, like, ironic enjoyment out of watching it. I'm just like, why would people want to watch this? Like, it's just boring, truthfully. Like, I honestly just think it's boring. Emily and Big Bird also coming to Smash? For sure, man, for sure. Bo show. Can I just get my stupid dinosaur already? Can I please get my stupid dinosaur? Hello? Dino, where are you? It's not how this works. I get, again, like I said, I get why people will get enjoyment out of the show. It's just for me, I'm like, this is just like, not a good show. <laughs> like, that's the way I see it. I just don't think it's a good show. Like, when I was a kid, sure, I, was, I thought it was kind of funny. 
Now I'm just like, it's just kind of dumb. Like, I don't even think it's funny as a meme. Ugh, excuse me. It's like, whatever. I don't know. Peter Griffin playing COD is funny. Peter Griffin playing COD? What? I don't... Is that like an actual thing from the show? Like there was just an episode where Peter became like a gamer or something? AI presidents gaming is great. I think it's stupid personally. I think it's pretty stupid personally. I watched like one minute of a video of one of the videos because I was just curious why people were hyping it up so much. I was like, this is so dumb. Like I I if people like it, great. I do not see how people get the enjoyment. I feel the same way about Ricky Morty, to be honest. Only those people actually believe the show is smart. Season one of Rick and Morty is good, and then like it just goes downhill from there. The fan base killed it. It's crazy how many like shows and stuff there's been where the fan base is unironically just like caused it to burn the stake. Like, I would argue um Rick and Morty is one, and then another one from the anime world is My Hero Academia. Like, MHA fans, I say as, like, somebody who does like some aspects of MHA, MHA fans are so cringe, it's not even funny. Is that Shiny Goodbye? Are you a Shiny Goodbye, buddy? Nope, I guess you're not. Yeah, I just don't get how people enjoy the AI president stuff. I just think it's dumb. I think it's pretty dumb, but whatevs. Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answers to, Kai? Yeah, probably. Probably a good call. South Park WoW episode? That I actually have seen. That one I actually have seen. It was, it was good. Gotta go hope you get your shiny. Thanks. The Simpsons made a K-pop episode. Society peaked. Why would The Simpsons make a K-pop episode? Why, though? Like, that's so dumb. How long you trying to hunt this Pokemon for? Uh, not very long. Like, an hour. Probably, like, an hour or so. Not too long. Shining a bite is blue like Gibble. That was blue. That was a blue Gibble. The yeah, present thing is the only... is like, the only present joke meaning thing that's harmless and doesn't call for bloodshed. I just, like, I don't find them funny. Like, I just don't think they're funny. Like, I just don't even think they're funny. Like, I'd rather just watch a real person. Like, I'm not a big, I don't, I'm not really into, like, AI content. It's not really my thing. Plus, like, the whole, like, legality of, like, stealing somebody's voice and using them for your own profit and gain is a world I don't really want to delve into, so. Like, I'd rather just avoid it. We are the lovesick girls? What? <laughs> Similar to Shiny Gibble? Yeah, but I, I, I know they're, like, a dark blue, but that's about it. Don't I die for the AI cover of the song by famous history people? It, like, even that kind of stuff, I'm just like, why though? Like, we don't need this. I don't know, I'm just very okay boomer when it comes to, like, the whole AI craze. Like, some aspects of it I find cool, others I'm like, this is kind of cringe and also worrisome. So, that's where I stand on things. You ordered a VTuber model and a content bot farm game Bar to farm gameplay, curious. Yeah, I did all those things, man. Definitely did all those things. Definitely not my face on screen right now. This is a VTuber model, guys. This is in my. It's just one of those like new advanced VTuber models that like looks just like a human face, like an actual human face. So yeah, I, I should have the big bucks for this thing, man. The big bucks. 
Like, I have a second mortgage on my house now, but at least I have a the state-of-the-art VTuber model now. Which, like, don't get me wrong, I'm not, like, making fun of VTubers. I'm just leaning into the meme. Can you react to Annoying Orange, please? I would rather... I would... I can't... I don't even know if I want to say the things I'd rather do. <laughs> react to Annoying Orange. I don't know if I, I want to say the things I would rather do than react to Annoying Orange, honestly. Truthfully. That'd be like a thing I do for like me and you in a, in a Discord call. That's about it. Better to be evil than cringe? What? <laughs> Where did that come from? Hey, Orange. I don't know if I want to open the can of worms that is the Annoying Orange series or whatever. Is it a series? It was a series on like Cartoon Network or something, right? I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. I could be wrong, but I thought I remember seeing like an advertisement for it. The one where they play Yu-Gi-Oh! broke me. Okay, see, like... That I could see you getting enjoyment out of because you actually like Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, that just makes sense. Ugh. Excuse me. Like, that just makes sense, honestly. Alright, not seeing it. We'll go ahead. We'll give it one more attempt. We'll give it one more attempt. Might as well. Might as well give it one more go. Ugh. <sighs> oh God, I'm getting tired. What about your favorite Martian? Martian? Favorite Martian? Who's that? Who's a who's your favorite Martian? <laughs> what? Oh, I didn't mean to hit that button. You want those balls? Hey, nice. I've got the strawberry lemonade flavor. Bro, no way you don't know. I I don't. I'm so lost. It's not even funny. I I'm truthfully lost. <laughs> Nice, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of lost, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not up on like the meme culture, I guess. He's a guy called Ray William Johnson. That's his cartoon persona. He did other songs like Nerd Rage and Doing Your Mom. Nope. Never heard of him. Truthfully, never heard of them. Add to the list of meme culture Kanye still learning about, I guess. Because I've never heard of this guy. It's like 2013 garbage. Well, I wasn't on. I wasn't doing any like YouTube in 2013. Like I wasn't on YouTube in 2013. I was in school. I had, I was playing soccer. I had a life in high school. <laughs> I wasn't on. I wasn't on the internet. I had a job too, like wild man. I don't know how like high school me did some of the stuff that I did. Like playing three sports, having a dating life, having friends, uh, having a job, all all doing that all at once must have been exhausting for past me. Like I don't know how I did that crap. No, but I've never heard of this guy in my life. Like straight up never heard of him. Hey, Shiny Ekins, let's go, Arsehole, congrats on the Shiny Ekins. Shiny high, let's go. In fire red, let's freaking go, dude. Good stuff. Heck yeah, congratulations on that shiny. Let's go. All right, this will be attempt three on the dino sandwich, and then we'll probably give it up. Give it up, you can win. And then probably jump into something else afterwards. 
Like maybe a bomb of snow. Uh, I think we got one of those. Um, greeting could be funny. You're right, I just spent 14 hours a day on Reddit at high school. <laughs> Sometimes I grab it all that sweet Reddit gold is so. <laughs> I don't know, I just like, I, I I would never was on Reddit, I was never on YouTube. Like, honestly, I, I, I would, just wasn't. Like, that would have been, like, either my junior or senior year, so I was focused on, like, getting to colleges and stuff. It was also my longest relationship at the time, too, so, and, and my first job, so I was probably doing a lot of other stuff. But no, I, I still, like, to this day, have never made a Reddit account. I have never owned a Reddit account in my life. Like, truthfully, never even once. I've been on Reddit, but I've never, like, made an account. It just seemed so cringe that I was like, I'm okay. I'm good. Like, again, it's one of those things where I get why people like it. It's not for me. Tis not for me, though. But again, I get why people like it. I'm happy that they do. Joe is a big Tabuscus fan. I don't know any of these names y'all are throwing out. Like, actually none. Actually zero of them. I think if I was, like... No, I definitely wasn't. If I was on Reddit, it was like the competitive Pokemon battling Reddit. <laughs> as sad as that is to say. And I didn't even have an account. I just was like, oh, I wonder what, like, um, sets people are recommending for this particular Pokemon. And I figured out Smogon was a thing, and then I just never used the Reddit ever again. <laughs> I had a Reddit account to argue with those stupid, I mean, wonderful people about Fire Emblem. <laughs> Fair. Gotta argue about the best girl. Gotta argue about the best girl, the best games. I get it, I get it. Red was also blocked at our school, so like that probably didn't help it either. Cause like, I didn't have any time in the evenings. Like I wasn't really on my laptop. So I, that probably also didn't help. Cause I just never really got full and exposed to it. I got fun of maybe for I got made fun of playing Pokemon in high school and I never played a Pokemon game. Yeah, I remember you saying that in one of your videos. That you were like, people said you should give it a shot and you try it out and people made fun of you for it afterwards. And that kind of like deterred you from it. But in high school, I just didn't give a damn anymore. I just didn't care. Like if somebody was like, haha, you, like it never happened, but like if someone was like, haha, you play Pokemon, I'd be like, okay, and? At least I'm not crying about getting 360 no scope by a six year old in Call of Duty. I'm just like, ooh, guys, I caught a Rodom. Well, that's the way I saw it. I never really, I never really care what people thought of me. I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> whatever. We're gonna give Kai a crash course on mem on memory, and he'll never talk to us again. Oh God! Hey, have a good night, Viridian. A crash course in memory sounds like hell. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if that's the kind of crash course I want to take. Thought I was done with school. I need to catch Suicune, but I'm lazy. I'll just do it. There's your inspiration. Just do it. Why not? What do you got to lose? Might as well. Insert Shia LaBeouf meme here. Chapter 1, iFunny. Did you have to make an iFunny account, or was it just like a website you could access? Because <laughs> like either way, I, I never used it. <laughs> Like, straight up never. I never used iFunny. I've barely ever used Reddit. Like, all where, like, the best memes apparently have come from, I've, I've never used them. I guess my memes was Vine. Like, I, I, I can... I've done... I, I was on Vine a little bit. 
Like, I didn't make my own vines, but, like, I watched a lot of vine. Like, that was my means, I guess. Like, Hurricane Katrina, more like Hurricane Tortilla. Like, that was my means. Was, my friends and I would quote vines to each other. Like, that's what we would do. I remember my friend showed me the app of 2013. I was perplexed that people could make pictures so fast. I mean, it does seem like a convenient place to, like, make stuff like that, I suppose. You got downloaded the iPhone, they got all the best memes, some dude's dad. I mean, probably. I'm sure that probably, that sense has probably been uttered at some point. At some point. Come out and play, Dino. Where are you, little buddy? Where are you, my little dude? Come out and play, you little dinosaur. I want you to join my team. You got that shiny little chonk, bro? He's like pink, bro? I have a little, I have an oink alone already. So I, I guess I technically have adult Lechonk. I come out to you talking about Hurricane Katrina. It's a meat. It was a, it was a vine. Vine, it's, it was a vine, like, when I was younger. Like, 2014, 2013, around there, probably. That was my jam. It was just odd. Well, because we were talking about memes, and, I, and they were like, oh, I've never... I was like, oh, I've never seen any of these memes y'all are bringing up. And I was like, I was on Vine, though, and, and I just said a random Vine. That's all. That's all. I'm not a big meme culture guy. Like, my memes was Vine. Even now, like, people are like, Oh, did you see this new TikTok meme? And I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm not on TikTok. <laughs> I used to be, but not anymore. It's an impish nature? That's not that bad. Make it a little bit defensive. I think it's more of a physical attacker, so that part kind of sucks. But the up defense isn't too bad, I suppose. Especially if it's got Intimidate. Call of Duty was a large part of my high school culture. I will admit, Black Ops 2 is one of the best games ever made. Better than Ocarina of Time. I don't even care. Uh, I don't think I've played Black Ops 2, so I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that. I think Ocarina of Time is definitely overrated. But... I don't know if it's I don't I don't I don't have an opinion outside of that. I just think Algory Time is very good, but it's definitely overrated. Like people definitely overrate it. Especially when like new games nowadays, like look at Wind Waker, look at Twilight Princess, look at Breath of the Wild, look at Tears of the Kingdom, blow out blows Ocarina out of the water. And people are like, No, Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game. It's the best Zelda game ever made. So I'm nostalgia blind for it. I'm like, no, but the Water Temple though. Well the Water Temple sucks, but like, okay, but do you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know, man. After you get the shiny, can we battle? Uh, probably not, honestly. Dude, you gotta battle? <laughs> Why? I don't want to. I do enough battling. I'm in two competitive leagues. That's more than enough battling a week. I, I do mocks. I do two battles a week. I think I'm chilling. Not trying to troll us. You don't think San Andreas is a better game than Ocarina? I haven't. Have I played San Andreas? I'm pretty sure I have, but I was young, so I don't remember much of it. I don't know. Ocarina is pretty good. It's definitely not like a 10 out of 10, but it's a good game. People definitely overrate it for sure, but it's good. It's a good game. It's solid. Spice up the formula? Is that spicing up the formula, though? Like, I already do battles. Like, I do competitive battles already. Isn't that good enough? Right, I would like a word with you, buddy? Probably. San Andreas has CJ from Grove Street. Oh, is that who that character you were bringing up earlier was from? Actually, I, don't, I did not know, truthfully. So maybe I haven't played San Andreas, then. Not a big GTA guy either. Like, I played it. 
it's cool, but I like my RPGs. <laughs> I'd rather just play Xenoblade or Pokemon or Persona or Golden Sun or Fire Emblem. Or Final Fantasy. It's fine what league are you in? Uh, I'm in the DAPL and the NBA. The NBA is run by a friend of mine, and then the DAPL, I just got invited to join, so I was like, sure, why not? 2 and 1 right now in the DAPL. Not bad at all. I only like GTA because of the radio features. Yeah, I mean, the aspect of it's cool, like switching between the music and stuff. That's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. My friend was playing and I heard Iron Maiden, Slayer, and Black Sabbath all within 30 minutes. Nice. Cool. Hey, yeah, thanks. It's fun. I like doing draft leagues. Just got a new logo commissioned. Um, I think it got delivered to me yesterday, I want to say. And then I got it officially finalized today. GTA knows the best music. Yeah, there's usually really good music in it. From what I played, I remember being like, oh, music's catchy. They got good choices. Got a lot of choices. We're running out of options. Come here, Mr. Dinosaur. Come on, Mr. Dinosaur. Which time we got? 18 minutes. Plenty of time. Is that Arceus' plan by Drake? Uh, is it? It might be. I'm pretty sure it is a Drake song. I just don't know which one. <laughs> like, truthfully, I have no idea. I, I, I'm bad with song titles. But I'm pretty sure it's a Drake. A Drake song. Is it God's plan? It might be. I don't know. It probably is. Y'all seem to be saying it, so. Three left until you're at 400. Hey, let's go. Not bad. Joe's favorite song is Fake Love by Drake. Straight up to my face. Straight up to my face. I've been looking down and look like up to me. Uh... What was y'all thinking? You just read my mind. A water balloon. <laughs> Alright, now that's a good meme. That is a good meme. I can get behind that meme. Your music knowledge spans many decades. Love it. Thanks. I listen to like a pretty big variety. Like indie, alternative, rock. Then also like 80s, 90s, um, like some classic stuff, a little bit of hip-hop, a little bit of rap, a little bit of pop, basically everything except country. <laughs> country is the only type of music I don't listen to. Are you going to stream tomorrow? Uh, probably not. I'm going to be in Chicago the rest of the week, so probably not. Was on the drink and whatnot, so from myself, so I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, neither was I. Like, I, Drake was definitely not, like, my favorite rapper. Uh, excuse me. Like, Drake was fine, but he was never, like, my favorite artist. The music takes a sure younger than mine. I don't know, I got to keep up like a little bit with like curb music releasing, thanks to Spotify, but like, I don't know. I definitely still like some old stuff too, like yeah, earlier today I was listening to some Fleetwood Mac, a little bit of The Cure. I was just in like an, a classic mood earlier today, so put on a little bit of that. Kirby music? Kirby music is very good, I can agree with that. 
Northwest Frost Street from Cribbing the Forgotten Lands, one of my favorite gaming pieces of all time. It is such a good song. Surprised you don't like country with your big tractor and whatnot? Yes, my big tractor that I definitely own. For sure. Take you for a ride on my big green tractor. I would have been so mad if one of these was shiny because I don't want me singing big green tractor in the shiny highlight video. I'm not going to lie. I would have been so mad. Country after Dixie Chicks pre-Old Town Road is booty cheeks. My mom likes country. Like, she's a big Dixie Chicks fan. Like, she saw them in concert a couple years ago, I believe. Curb music is actually evil. Curb music is so good! Literally, like, Northwest Frost Street is easily one of my favorite gaming songs of all time. It's so catchy and also so chill and relaxing. I would just put it on repeat at work. I play Kirby. Kirby's one of my favorite gaming franchises. It's so good. Dolly Parton's my favorite country artist. Dolly Parton's a good shout. It's a good shout. Sussy Sunday is soon? I have no idea what that is. Call Dino Big Green Tractor. If we get it, I'll call it... I'll about to call... Is it Kenny Chesney who sings that or something? Oh my god, we actually got it. Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god, we freaking got it. About time, buddy. An hour and a half later. Let's go. Shiny Dino, baby. Let's freaking go, dude. Alright. Dino Gen 9 Learn Set. What do you learn, buddy? Landslide, landslide by Dixie Chicks, my mother's son. Oh, Mike, that's so good. Oh, that's actually such a good choice. I love that. I don't know what mine would be. That, that, I don't want to steal yours, but that would probably be one that my mom would like a lot. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to steal yours, though. But that, that is a very good choice. I love that. I love that idea, Mike. That was such a good choice. Hi, hey, let's go, let's go. I felt it coming. I'm glad one of us did, because I did not think it was coming. We both got shinies. Hey, let's go, Arsel. Big tractor. Are we actually naming it this thing? I spoke into existence. I mean, you kind of did, Joe. You kind of did. I'm not going to lie. You kind of did. You kind of did, buddy. What did he attack me with? I was not paying attention. I was looking up his learn set again. So he should have Dragon Pulse, Scary Face, Crunch, and Slam. Oh, he probably went for Slam and he missed it because that move, that move does not hit. Big Tractor, Daredevil the Dino. Daredevil's a... Oh, wait. I really like Daredevil. Wait, like, actually? I actually really like that. I'm not going to lie. That's a really good shout. All right. As for the Pokeball, I mean, it's Nest Ball, right? Surely it's Nest Ball. Matches the green. I think it's gotta be. Shino? Shino's really good too. This thing has a pretty annoying catch rate from her, right? Pretty sure it has a pretty annoying catch rate. Slam, you missed those. You missed those, buddy. I mean, obviously you missed those. You can't see. <laughs> Poor guy. Shino is a good shot. I do like that one. Hey, crit capture. Sometimes all it takes is one more try. True. Nest ball. Yeah, nest ball was the one to match the best. Ain't no way it's not big green tractor. I don't know if I want this kind of power though. Because Dino's because Dino's eyeless blind squad, right? I mean, true. Daredevil does fit pretty well. Big tractor. I don't know if I want this kind of. I don't know, man. Uh, I truthfully, I. <laughs> I do like Daredevil more. I like Daredevil and Shino more. But at the same time, like, I feel like I have to. How, how many, how many, how many uh, letters is Tractor? T-R-A-C-T-O-R. Okay. So we could name it something like this. Big... Green. Big. 
green tractor. Big grin tracto. <laughs> Big green tractor, like that? Is that what we want to do? Nah, the whole the whole thing is funnier. But then it would just be big, gr big, B-I-G, G-R-E-E-N, T-R-A-C, it would be big green track. If we did it like that. Exactly? What do you mean exactly? <laughs> what do you mean exactly? What do you mean exactly, dude? Alright, cool. We're just going with this then. <laughs> exactly. Alright, I guess we're doing this. Now we have 10 minutes left to get a dark type. Uh, you know, I'll know the drill. To the forest. All right, let's hunt ourselves some uh, Bisharp and uh, Ponyard. Let's do it. Maybe this will be the time we get it. I think after this, we'll probably do maybe one more hunt and call tonight. Or we might even call it after this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. I'm pretty tired. Gotta be up early. Got stuff. Got testing. Got a pack for Chicago still. Nah, man. Get Impinimp and name him the Gaming Goblin or Goblin Gamer. But why though? Exactly. Okay. Seems like this is just the theme of the stream. We're just saying exactly. Is that what we're doing? Is that the is that the new meme we're taking on? Is just saying the word exactly? Is that the the new meme of the stream? Yo, what's up, Dakota? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? I got a shiny Pokemon from an egg. Hey, nice. What shiny did you get? Also, hi. Hello to you too. What shiny did you get? You read my mind. What was y'all thinking? What has the stream become? What has this stream become? Indubitably so dear compatriots. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening anymore, man. I'm present physically, not mentally. Mentally, I'm asleep. Mentally, I'm in my bed asleep, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> See a group of Ponyard? Anything? No, not yet. Will today be the day that Kai gets his Bisharp? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Answer's more than likely probably not, but I try to stay optimistic. Maybe we'll get it, you never know. Just gotta believe in yourself. You just gotta believe. I got a Pissimia? Nice. Stop coming here with the dark sandwich? Well, I had 10 minutes left, man. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm not just going to waste 10 minutes of a sandwich. It's not like I purposefully was like, oh, I'm going to make the dark sandwich and immediately go to the forest next. But that's not what happened. <laughs> that's not how it happened. I just was like, I have 10 minutes left. Might as well do a Bisharp hunt. It's not my fault I don't have any steel type outbreaks. <laughs> Otherwise, I would use a steel type sandwich. You feel me? You feel me? Do you feel him, sir?
I think I did have a Dratini outbreak, but I don't think that one's happening anymore, because I don't know if we're going to have enough time. Because that Dino outbreak took a lot longer than I thought it would. Oh, hi, Bisharp. Exactly, you just read my mind. I'm psychic. A water balloon, they can use beer for that. Is the I'm psychic a Danganronpa reference? Are we bringing that meme back? If so, I don't want to be. I don't want to be a part of this stream anymore. And I'm the one streaming it. I don't know if I want to be a part of that meme culture again. Yes, you just. Yup. I still gotta play the second one of that. Still haven't done that. I said I would, and I still haven't. I did really enjoy it. It was fun. I had a good time with it. I just like being correct, and I got was able to figure out a lot of the stuff just like through subtext and stuff. I think the only case where I had like no clue what was happening was I think case two. No, I I, I was kind of lost on case two and case four. But I think you're purposefully in the dark on both of those. Whereas, like, the other ones, I was kind of able to figure it out. Water, ice, salt. Hey! Favorite Pokemon League champion? Um... Hmm... Cynthia? Iris? One of those two, probably. I'd say it's probably Cynthia or Iris. Iris's champion thong song is like actually like so goaded in black and white too. It's so sick. Ice bank mice elf. What? Oh god damn it, Mike! I hate you. Mike, I actually can't stand you. Turtles. I don't even know what to say to that. Yes, turtles. Sydney and Lance for me, Red School too. Fair. Good choices. Took we fight in OG Sun and Moon is cool. It is very good. It is very good. He put the league together with his own bare hands. Hey, got him. I hate you. I'm not gonna lie, I walked right into that one. Would you have a pet Turtwig? Uh, probably not. There's a lot of other Pokemon I'd rather have a pet as a pet than a Turtwig. Not a big Turtwig lover. Like, of the Sinnoh Stars, I'm definitely on either Team Piplup or Team Chipchar. Of the three, Turtwig is my least favorite. It's just so bad. Which is very not good in battle. Like, my argument for Turtwig is why would I use it when I can just get a Rose Raid, which is infinitely better. Pet Pipla. Pipla build would be pretty cool. Joe had big fucky, fuzzy ears. So true. I'm assuming the, the so true is to the Rose Raid comment and not the big fuzzy ears comment. I'm assuming. I don't know if Joe would agree that he has big fuzzy ears or not. Oh no, he does agree with both, apparently. Alright, so true indeed. Shiny Dratini Dream Pet, that'd be pretty cool. What about Pet Lucario? Probably not, I'm not a big Lucario lover. I'd rather just have like a, I'd rather just have an Arcanine. I want like a big pupper to like, carry me to victory. Did my controller just die? It did. Well, I'm gonna go grab my Joy-Cons real quick. This is killing all my time. That's awesome. Well, well then. I guess we're gonna use Joy-Cons for the rest of the stream. Oh, good. Oh, good, good, good. The game didn't even tell me that my battery was low. What the heck? 
No, I only got one pet Lucario, though. I'd probably just rather have a pet Arcanine or a pet Sprigatito. Like I said, pet Dialga. This is my pet who can control time. Straight up to my face! Straight up to my face! So we got, we have a minute and 20 seconds left. I'd want a Blitz to give me an egg when I'm sad, that's just wholesome. All right, doesn't it do that? Like it can sense when people are sad, like from thousands of miles away. I'd cook that egg, that's just messed up, man. Once the sandwich is done, you should get more herbs. I think I've got plenty. I think we're kind of chilling. I got, I kind of got a good amount still. The game didn't do the proper thing, crazy. Well, I don't think that's a, a Scarlet and Violet thing to be fair. I think that's a Nintendo Switch thing to be fair. Like, like that was just a scar that wasn't a scarlet and violet mistake. I think that was a switch mistake. That's probably the case. I don't think scarlet and violet would prevent that. So true. Tis tis indeed. Tis indeed. How much time we got? 28 seconds left. Can we get the shiny ponder in 28 seconds? Probably not, because Kai bumped into a Bishar. So I play Switch on handheld with Joy-Cons by having a Pro Controller. I like Pro Cons more, way more than Joy-Cons though. Like it just feels better. It just feels so much better. Too scared of it dying? I definitely get that, but it just feels better to me. Like, it's like night and day almost, I swear. I, I do believe we are out of time. We are. Yo, what's up, Noah? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Hope you're having yourself a good... Uh, what day is it? Wednesday? How's it going? I really like the Pro Controller. I really do. It's just more convenient. Joy-Cons would be a top 5 controller if they didn't break. They are convenient, but like I just like the feeling of Pro-Cons better. But yeah, Joy-Con drip is a pain in the butt. I need to use it more. It is really nice. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any other in like encounters I'm wanting to do before we wrap up. I don't think there was. Pretty good, still going for a shiny church wig. Hey, best of luck. Hope the hunt's going well. Um, There was a Dratini and a Bombus I was curious about getting, but the dino took a little while. Uh, I got my Gligar that I wanted. Uh, I wasn't able to get either of those, but I don't really care. Are there any here? The only one I wanted here was the Alolan Graveler. I guess we could do that real quick. Trying the Alolan Graveler hunt. Mm, I don't know. It's pretty late. And I got. I still have to pack. I think we'll probably. Uh, I think we'll probably wrap up here then. Thank you, and brilliant diamond. Hey, not bad. Hope you get it. All right, we'll go ahead and wrap up right here. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the scream. Um, like I said, I'm gonna be out of town the rest of the week, so we'll be back Sunday night, maybe depending on what time I get back. Uh, don't want to make any promises though. But if we are back in time by Sunday night, then we'll have the a stream that night. Otherwise, then um we'll be back tuesday like our normal stream schedule and stuff uh yeah so just keeping you guys in the loop i'll probably post updates and stuff from chicago and all that cool stuff but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys are new around here please consider subscribing we're on our way to 400 subscribers that is my goal for the year really appreciate you could help me hit that also leave a like on the stream it helps me out a ton helps new people see the stream who might be interested in joining us wanting to hang out with us all of that fun stuff I am going to go to bed. Actually, I'm going to go pack, and then I'm going to go to bed. But I will catch you guys next time. Until then, though, I'll leave you with this. Peace.